Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, mate? You all right? Yes, very good. Thank you. What, what are you drinking tonight, Alex? Because I'm right. on the energy drinks. I have got uh, a shipyard IPA. I've got two of these bad boys. I'm not going to do no more than that. <laughs> I'm quite envious, actually. I'm quite envious because I would like a drink, but I had like a, not last night, night before, I had like two litres of cider and I thought, yeah, I'll lay off tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't be drinking cider no more. <laughs> well, the thing you is, I drank cider since I was a kid. I, I don't you know, know if it's I mean, worse. I don't know if it's worse than beer because obviously, where I'm cutting my calories, obviously, I'm looking at all that at the moment. And I know that two liters of cider is like 800 calories. That's a lot, right? Yeah. So I, think I had some. You're 2,000 a day or something, you're allowed, isn't it? Something. something well, like, well uh, the way I worked normal. it was I, I hardly ate anything all day so that that way I could drink that and I still stayed within my my calorie deficit. <laughs> Probably not the healthiest yeah. thing to do, but fuck it. <laughs> so. <Yeah. laughs> But this, you gotta have some pleasures. Well, yeah, yeah, cheers, mate. Cheers. The good thing with this is this is like uh 90 calories because it's like half sweet and half sugar, which is quite good. So you got uh you don't feel like you're drinking sugar free, but then at the same time you don't feel like you're drinking a bag of sugar either, if that makes sense. No, that's true. I don't know, but does it actually tell you on a can of beer how many calories are in it? I suppose you'd have to Google it, wouldn't you? If you look on the back where it says K Cal, that's how many calories it is. Yeah, somewhere on there, but I'll be there all night. <laughs> well, Tetley's in the chat. Oh, well. You still oh, coming Tetley. on, Tetley? Yeah, come on, jump on. Hobby Lodge. Martin. Not, Martin should jump on as well. Yeah, I think he's got his uh, family back from uni. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. I did read that earlier. Yeah, I think his daughter's home, isn't she? I suppose, yeah, because uh, holidays, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. My boys are off. I don't know what it's going to rain tomorrow, so I need to work out what we're going to do. Because I've been on the fortnight all day, so um, or foot and roadblocks. I don't know what either one. I, I can never tell which one they're playing. So normally fortnight they shout more. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's um, yeah, Connor's the same. Like I have to constantly go in there and say, "Oh, shut up, will you?" The, the problem is with him, he's like, he's 15, so it's a little bit worse than when they're younger because, of course, when they get to 15, then you start getting the choice language. So just going to make it clear now, if you hear someone swear in the background, it will be him. Like, yeah. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, my oldest two, they, they, they rile up kind of thing. And the way I deal with it sometimes, if they get too noisy, the uh, where they play, it's like on um, one of them infinite cables, like into my router. So yeah. if they get too crazy, I just pull the thing out. And then they're like, Dad, <laughs> you know I mean? Dad. I was like, I warned you about five times. Do you know what I mean? Chill out, you know. But yeah. Geez, I don't understand why they get so wild up. I mean, I have played it back in the day, but it's all these different game modes they play now on it. And, you know, when I played it, it used to be like one versus 100 or whatever. Now they're building towers and shooting each other, and but not in the normal game mode. Do you know what I mean? The, the problem just, yeah. with my youngest is he's always got headphones on, and so he's got no idea how loud he's been. Yeah, and, I, and I probably need to get the boys some headphones because they, they're in the same room. Uh, they, I think they've got they've got headphones, but they haven't got mics. Yeah. If you know what I mean? So they're like they're kind of screaming at each other in the room, but then what they're, they're hearing through yeah, the but headphones. The thing is, as well. Even if you get the full headphones, they're still going to be shouting because they'll yeah. have no. It's true. It's true. They will do you know, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I played, I played with them the other day, and my eldest, um, I can't, it's like ranked now. So you, if, how well you do in the match, kind of thing, you either go up or down, kind of thing, yeah. and you get like a, a medal or whatever. Uh, and all the guys on there were so good. I must have died about three times. He brought me back to life about three times. I still died. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> I him off it because he asked, like, "Mate, I can't do this. This is just too much. These people are just really good, and I'm not that good." Do you know what I mean? So it wasn't that enjoyable to be fair. So that was that's probably the last time I played it, and I'm not sure if I want to play it anymore. To be honest, which, which one's yeah. that? Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite. Well, the boys like me playing it, but. It's just painful now. Do you know what I mean? Well, see, I, I walked into Connor's room yesterday and I thought he had Call of Duty. And when I said to him, What are you playing? He said, Rainbow Six. Right. You know, like, yeah, I, I remember, like, 
back in the day, Rainbow Six was always seen as the kind of like not as good as Call of Duty sort of thing, wasn't it? But I don't think I've ever played any Rainbow Six games, to be fair. I played Call of Duty, uh, Battlefield. I love Battlefield One. That was probably the last Battlefield One was probably the last one that I invested so much time into. Yeah, uh, because I I think I, I liked it because I think more of my great granddad's was in some of the battles that, were, that you were actually playing in. And I found that a bit cool. Did, didn't they yeah. recently remaster that? I think it got released. I don't know if it remastered. They might well have done, but it definitely got released on one of the free. You know what I mean? When you get on the... Um, like on the Game Pass or something. Yeah, that kind of thing. Or like yeah. on the PlayStation Plus or whatever it is, you know. And So, yeah, I mean, I would go back and play it. But the problem is, I, the kids will be... I'll, the oldest is 10. And I don't really like playing too violent of a game in front of them. Even though yeah. they're probably all aware of what the world it is now, do you know what I mean? Mm. But I try to um, wait till they're asleep. But then the problem is when they when they do go to bed, probably sort of nine, half nine, ten, or whatever it is, I'm I'm ready for bed then as well myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. really be bothered. See yeah. that the the thing for me, I, obviously, I'm a bit of a night owl because obviously I work nights, yeah. and so when I'm off, I end up sitting up quite late as well, you know. Yeah, but... that's really weird. Lately. Um, some uh, I'll, I'll be sitting there and I was trying to watch that uh thing on Netflix, the the sci fi one, I forget what it's called now, Free Something Free, Free Body Problem, yeah, something like that, where it's about space and uh, and I'll be watching it and then all of a sudden, bang, I'm asleep, you know what I mean? I don't even feel it coming, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just oh, fuck it. So, in the, I wake up about an hour later and it's probably about three episodes later or whatever. And... Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, so has got over 5,000, isn't he? Today, he's, yeah, he's yeah. in that, right, mate. Really, really well yeah, done. Yeah, well done. Well done. See, this is yeah, the thing, yeah. right? He, he started showing that content of like what he was found, and look yeah. what's happened, you know? Yeah, it was really good. Really good. Really enjoyed that video he did. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, that one he was on about in the future. That's what I, mean, I, I, that's what I want to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Interesting yeah. to see what they actually find when they go yeah. in. But um, yeah, it's cool. Oh, it shows you though, you know, you get a video, it takes off. Do you know what I mean? And it can change your channel overnight, kind of. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's, there's a guy I've been watching recently. Um, his, his channel's just called Jamie, but he talks about physical movie yeah, collecting. Done a bit, and I checked his channel out a little bit. Like, he's got a lot of DVDs, and he. Well, Blu-ray, DVD, 4K, VHS, you name it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it, it, the crazy thing is, is the numbers he's pulling. Like, like I, I think he already had a following because I'm sure I saw somewhere yeah. that he was on maybe TikTok. But, yeah, the, the numbers he's he's getting. Like, he's, he's only been on there a couple of weeks. It's he's, he's, he's crazy what he's getting on his, his videos. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's like, it's like very, very passionate about the movies as well, isn't he? So, um, yeah, yeah, it's good to know. I like, I like watching channels where people are passionate about what they're talking about rather than the just do it for the, the sake of making a video. Do you know what I mean? The, the the ones that kind of annoy me, you know, where they just buy stuff for the sake of it and then they're just like, yeah. God is, I got is, I got is, yeah, and it, there's no heart or interest in it at all, you know. Like, for example, if I was to pick up a film and I go, oh, the reason I bought this is because, and there'll be a story as to why I bought it, whether it's because it's a film I like, whether it's from a memory years ago, there'll be a reason, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, like, it's, some people, they literally will just go, I've got this, put it down, I've got yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, it's like um, in my last video I've done, I, like, I picked up the Mega CD, didn't I? And when I picked it up, when I actually bought it, just like a memory sort of popped in the back of my mind of like me looking through a window as a kid, looking at it like brand new boxed, you know what I mean, with a big price tag on it. I just remember thinking, oh, man, I'm, I'm never going to get that. <laughs> so, Hello, mate. You good? Evening, guys. Happy Easter, boys. Yeah, happy, happy Easter. Easter. Oh, I'm being oh. good tonight. No alcohol tonight, Scott. Oh, I need this beer. I've been waiting for this this stream all night so I can have a beer. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's interesting, that, isn't it? <laughs> He's wanting a beer all day. It's like, come on, 8 o'clock, hurry up. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was sitting there earlier, and like, 
I was feeling a bit peckish, and I think it was only four o'clock, but of course the clocks went forward, didn't it? You know, yes. it, it yes. screws me your, your, your body clock for a little while, doesn't it? Do you know what? That totally messed in my head last night because I was sitting in the front room and I was watching um for your eyes only, right? And and I'm watching it, and I'd looked at the the my phone earlier on, it was like half past twelve, you know. And then a little while later, I go back to it and I'm like, two o'clock? What? What? Two o'clock? What the yeah. fuck? Like, and then I realised, I was like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> that was all right, because I was up as well last night, because um went to football. And then when I got back, my wife had a couple of her mates around our house, and they lived like in the town over. So I had to give them a lift home. And they didn't go home till about half 12. And I'm sitting in bed watching TV, and I'm like, the same thing. It was like one o'clock bang, too. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell, better go home. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and that's the thing. Like normally, if I'm sitting up, I'll sit up to around two ish, and then I'll head off to bed. Like you know, and that's why I was yeah. kind of thrown. So I looked, I thought, what the fuck? Hang, hang on. Like I'm thinking, hang on. Is this film still on then? And then I realised, like, ah, yes, that's why. Yeah. There's Paul. Paul. There's Paul got the old red wine on the go. I bet he has. <sighs> like if you yeah. if you cut Paul, I'm pretty sure like red wine would come out. He locked his rib on. He does. He does. Bit of a oh, he's in a bit of a food Ooh, coma. Man. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was um, a bit like that earlier. Got loads of nibbles and stuff. Yeah. From from, uh, from when my missus his friends was over, so we're polishing them off today. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. How's your day been, Scott? Yeah, it's been chilled. I'd say. Yeah, yeah chilled day. I cooked a chili. Eden decided on Easter. She wanted a chili, so I cooked the chili. Yeah, happy days. I like chili, it's nice. So, yeah, we didn't have a lot of lamb, don't they? Today, we, we didn't no roast or nothing like that today. You know oh, I mean? I'm having that tomorrow. I'm having one yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, I feel like tomorrow I feel like a bit screwed if at the minute because the kid, my kids uh, finished school like on the Wednesday. And it was just like when they finished school, it felt like the Friday. Do you know what I mean? So it's all a bit over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. So yeah, Mo saying. Monday Monday's football day for me because obviously Ipswich have got Southampton. So You've and we are top one. of the league. We've got to win our last seven games to get in the Premiership. So yeah, I, I had a, I had a pretty rough day yesterday at the football. <laughs> Even though we didn't lose, I was, was going to say pretty... didn't lose. No, they didn't lose, but um, not the best game in the world, bless them. But if take a rough and a smooth, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I really hope your boys come up, mate. That'd be good. Be good for the Premiership if they if they could make um, make get up get up there. And it's all a bit of a fairy tale at the minute, though, isn't it? You know, you do see teams do it. Do you know what I mean? Double promotion. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you've got momentum. So, I think they will do it. Yeah. I think Leicester, Leicester have just absolutely pulled the pin at the minute, haven't they? And um, you can't buy a win. No, which is all good. Yeah, yeah. Just need yeah, Leeds to slip up now. Yeah. I can always tell when Chelsea are done, has done bad because of the way Connor is. Because <laughs> yeah. he's a Chelsea fan, so. Uh, the thing is, right, we, we were playing Burnley, who have been absolutely rubbish all season. We were one nil up at half time and they had a player sent off and we still managed to bugger it up. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, like there's some there's some geezer in the stand going absolutely berserk. He probably had a few beers too for too much. I put him in his place a bit. He was whinging. I said, mate, we've got nothing to whinge about. We've won everything in the last 20 years. He's got to take it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just went to click on Sai's comment there and it, the chat jumped. Yeah. <laughs> running for the yeah, that was a magical <laughs> moment. That was one that, that was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was, wasn't it? Like all the way there. All I remember Paul going to open a toilet, open as a toilet. And then, and then when he see one, it was like hallelujah. Like, you know, it's the couple that were waiting outside though when he come out and made me laugh. <laughs> well, you say give it five minutes or something, you know. Like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did. Oh, uh, he, he must have destroyed it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Any of you guys overdosing on Ghostbusters films? A lot about at the moment. Plus, I'm looking for a copy of Ghostbusters, the game for the Switch, which is apparently quite rare. Um, I've I was playing it not so long back actually on the PS4, 
But that's, I was playing that digital, like, yeah, really, streaming it. A remastered of the one that was on the Xbox and the place. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Play it's, yeah, it's you a know. remaster, yeah. It was quite was buggy, it actually. The PS4 version was quite buggy when it first came out. But They've released that game. That game's got re-released a lot, hasn't it? Yeah. But I, I think there's another one as well in there on the Switch. I'm sure there's another one. Yeah, yeah there's a new one out now. Yes, there is a new one. Um, yeah. I forget what it's called, but yeah, there is a newer one out. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I've been playing on my Switch and I can't put it down. Is that Prince of Persia? I absolutely love that. And that that's that's no walk in the park either. It's a bit like Metroid Dread. Yeah. But I think the boss battles on it are a lot harder. You know, it's um you gotta learn the sequence of moves and stuff to to kill the boss. I must it must took me about 50 or 60 attempts earlier to kill one boss. And he's like, he's probably like an early on boss. Do you know what I mean? So God knows what the last boss is going to be like. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a really good game. So I tempted, see, I don't, I don't jump for Ubisoft games because I know they always go cheap. No, this one, and they've done all right with this one. You know what I mean? I think. I've seen it on Amazon. That, um, that's already like half price already. So I might get yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. If you like that sort of thing, you know, it's um, it's quite a big map as well on it. Do you know what I mean? You, uh, you can play that without it telling you where to go. You know what I mean? It gives you a hint. You got to go up here. You got to go up there. You yeah. can turn that off. And fuck me, you be you would be like there forever looking for where you got to go. Do you know what I mean? Because the map's that big. So um, if, if that's half price now on Amazon, Scott, how much is that now then? I think it's like twenty four ninety nine. So it's not because I think it was originally a fifty quid game, wasn't it? Oh really? I think I paid forty quid for my one, or just mm. under. Might have been thirty six or something if I got it on an offer. Or, or I might have been forty. I can't remember. But um, I love Prince of Persia, so I was always getting it. You know See, I, mean? I love the I love the original Prince of Persia on the Amiga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I didn't really get into the ones they released on the PS two and all that. Yeah, you know, no. I played, I played, I did play them. I never finished them though. It was it was a uh, the three D side of it. You know what I mean? I, I preferred Sands the two times. I think was one of them, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's right. right yeah. yeah, yeah. I wasn't really a fan. And also with them games, like they just ended up a bit sort of shovelware. I think on PS Two, they're you know, quite they're... cheap games to pick up now. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? yeah. I'm up for a couple of quid. Can't yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which, uh, if you think about it, if you're going to try that system or whatever, like the Xbox or or that, then it's not too bad, really. But mind you, saying that a lot of games are two quid or three quid on that at the minute. Yeah, aren't they? yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer. I've got it here somewhere. I don't know the one on the Mega Drive, that and the SNES. Um, but my my Mega Drive one's a bit buggy. Do you know what I mean? Like you know, like where you get a Mega Drive cart and every now and then it just randomly stops. Yeah, uh, that one is uh, is prime for that. Do you know what I mean? Like, the bloody thing stopped again. Do you know what I mean? Would you think it needs a good clean or something? Yeah, probably. I hope it's just cleaning because it's not a cheap one to sort out. You know what I mean? I think it's about 70 80 quid game now. Really? Is that how much? That <laughs> well, I'll say for a box version, you could probably pick the cart up quite cheap. Mm. But... There's a couple I'm after at the moment, but they're both like high end ones, and every time I see them. They're never in very good condition on eBay and that. Like, because I want to, well, I want a box complete version of Ghostbusters because I had it back in the day on the Mega Drive. That's always been a dear one. That even back in the day when games were cheap, that was always a dear one. Yeah, and it's manuals on that one. I think it's a bit. This is the thing, right? Every time I see one, like they're asking stupid money and they're battered. Like the the other one is Star Trek Deep Space Nine now. I'm pretty certain it's a bad game, but I, yeah. I want it because it's Star Trek. So, yeah. you know, but again, it's a bit rough, yeah. yeah. See, but the Star Trek one, well, yeah, the game, game, same thing is it'll be battered and they're asking stupid money for it. Like, I've seen one that's like 130 quid for this DS9 game. And then when you look at it, it's like, man, I'm not paying that when the inlay's all scuffed up and the, the bloody manual's like falling a bit. So, like, fuck off. Like, Want that sort of money for that game, it needs to be in good condition, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't mind paying like that sort of amount if it's in a good nick, you know. But otherwise, like, yeah, so and the thing is, you don't see, especially the DS9 one, you don't see many of them around on eBay and that complete. No, so, that, was one, that took me a while to get that game complete, yeah, yeah. 
funny, isn't it, uh, Megan? Some some games are just like you wouldn't think they're that they'd be hard to get, and that they, they can be a right bugger. Do you know what I mean? To find like if you're going for like you did, Scott, like uh, uh, the full like one with a manual and everything. I think uh, you, you know what I, I mean. Think a it, yeah, a lot of it was because at the time, a lot of the games were rented. So yeah, when you find a lot of Mega Drive games without a manual, it's because they were rented and stuff like Deep Space Nine. People didn't really buy it; they rented it from Blockbuster or whatever. So sometimes it you can it harder to get them. Sometimes you can find with video games as well. Like, say, if it's like Star Trek or something, you get the Trekkie fans buying them as well to put in their memorabilia. So that yeah. can also like add to the the rarity of it, if you know what I mean. Because they've well, I'm, I'm both for them. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But the, the, the other thing, though, it, it wasn't a very good game, I don't think. I think it had a few bugs with it, which is the other reason, I think. The better game was um, Next Generation, but for whatever reason, it never made it into onto the Mega Drive. It was on the Genesis. Genesis, wasn't it? Yeah. It was only that. US. Yeah. yeah. No, I not played that. Speaking of Next Generation... <laughs> I've been watching these like well you guys know I've been saying in a group and I but dumbest packaging ever fucking hate the packaging on this like really stupid yeah but is that starters, like all, all the seasons is it all that yeah all, all of them this is uh HD remastered so but look at this right this is how dumb this packaging is you'd think this is a slip thing right that you just slide it out no it's you've got to do this and crease it all up, which I've just done, and then you've got these it's them, it's them bits on the end of the tab in it with a cut. It's yeah, what the problem that used to be like on the SNES boxes. You were meant to always open them one way because the, the tabs were different or whatever. And then you've got to try and get them out, which is almost impossible. And then when you do, I mean, how I didn't break the disc getting them out because as you can see, they're now empty because I put these in a CD wallet. But I mean, these things are just fucking stupid. Like, there's think, no other word I for it. Like American Dad for something like that, or when I used to collect DVDs, and you used to literally have to, oh, you put it on yeah, the yeah. What are you having a fight? Is in the DVD player. So this one's one to four, and the other one's five to seven, right? So you've got to fit all them discs in. There's about six discs for each season, so they're double and triple stacking them on these stupid things. Yeah, you know, like, and it, it, honestly, like, I thought I was going to break the disc getting them out, and so for the for the third time today, I went to get one out, and it hadn't got any loose, and I thought, you know what, fuck this, I've had enough. So I've stripped them all out, I've put them in a CD wallet, and I thought I'll put this on the shelf, I'll keep hold of it, you know. But Just don't now, lose yeah, <laughs> well, I won't. <laughs> yeah, so, but how much did that set cost you, Lee? Not as much as it should have done. Um, so they had an Amazon spring sale recently, didn't they? Yeah. And I got it for, hang on, I might have to double check this. Because there was a price that it was and then the price I paid. And I can't remember which one was which. Hang on, let me double check and I will let you know. Just curious because them sort of box sets, they're kind of made as cheap as possible, aren't they? Yeah, you think if you're spending out good money on them, so I paid. Is it going to give me? No, that's how much it is now. I need to actually find my receipt so I can tell you what I paid. So I paid sixty-seven pound, but it See, should that's been a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah, but it should have been a lot more than that. I think it was around hundred pound originally. See, if I had paid £100 for that and that came in that flimsy cardboard box and them crappy spindle things, I would have not been impressed. Yeah, no, normal price. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't, Andrew. It was like 85 something like that. See, DVDs yeah. nowadays, you can get, you know, you, you go to get a TV series of something and it can be like dirt cheap. And another TV series is like that one, a Sky Eye. It's, it's not really yeah. middle ground. Anymore, is yeah, it? but that's that's Blu-ray though, and it's it's been HD'd, so that's why. Yeah. That's Blu-ray, is it? Yeah. Oh, so okay. Yeah. Basically, they completely redid all the computer graphics of the ship and all that, and all the effects. And it, it's it's enough notice. Well, and all that, and yeah, it's got like. 
DTS audio on it and all that. They've really like revamped it all. Like mm. the only complete like series things I've got is uh, Only Fools and Horses, and it comes in this great big box thing like this. You know, it pulls out and it, that you put each CD, and it's it, it's almost it's almost like a book. It tells a story as you're going through it, kind of thing. The only problem is I don't know what I've put where I put it. I can't find the bugger. <laughs> <laughs> That's been Hellboyed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? I think it's in the loft. You know what I mean? I, think I accidentally put it up there because I was sure it was on top of my wardrobe. Because I very rarely watch it nowadays. Do you know what I mean? Because they're always on TV or whatever. Mm. And I went to go watch it. And I couldn't bloody find it. You know? I got speaking of DVD sets. I bought. I bought one. We'll make you laugh. Hold on, I'll grab it. Yeah. Well, while you're grabbing out, I'll, I'll talk about this quick. So Alex will already know about this. So will Scott. But if anybody has got the DS9 slim sets of these, in case you haven't watched my videos, if you've got these, check them because they are rotting. This is the problem I've had. Now, I said I'd update people on this, so I'll do it on here. Now, I noticed when I went through my set, there was one set that didn't seem to have a problem. And that was from the older collection that they brought out. Because you, the slim set was a cheaper version they brought out later. The original versions looked like this. So there was yeah, like a I hard. They were like a flight case. So you push the button at the top, which is not easy to do. And then that comes down. And then inside, you've got like a plastic bit. I'll so that's that a lot out. better than the other one you got. You oh, way, you way better. Yeah. And then, like, it, this is how it is inside. It's like a, let me show you, like a kind of cutout on the inside. See it? Yeah, Sits that's way better. So, and then, when you want your discs, you just flip them over like this. What a good design. That's great, isn't it, right? They actually, they actually budgeted a bit of money for the cases. Yeah. Now. So these were the first sets. So they probably realised, oh, they're costing quite a bit. But, yeah, these... Oh, this is what I've got to replace that set, and it's fine, perfect, nothing wrong. So, if anyone's got them original slim sets, get rid of them, get the first ones, or get the complete sets. Because this was the other thing I was going to say, Scott. Obviously, I bought the HD version of Star Trek Next Gen. My DVD full set, which is basically the same as that, but DVD, is still perfectly fine. Yeah. So it seems that it is literally just these ones that it's affecting. Mm. Cheaper made, yeah. Um, what it is, yeah. It's on my Wii U collection. I worry about the old disc rot on that a little bit because I've got one. I know for sure I've got one that's not working, but it's only I think it's like Lego Avengers or something. Yeah. The thing uh, I found with with the Wii U is, as soon as the discs get any type of mark on them, they don't play. They they put they're not very good at reading uh, scratch disc at all. My boys, they like playing that Wario game, Game and Wario. And that at one point, that was about a £60 game. I think it's come down a bit now. I think it's more like £40. But I used to always get a bit panicky when they were getting it out of the case and sticking it in. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not cheap to bloody replace, you know what I mean? If yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I, don't, I, I still let them play them because they're there for playing, do you know what I mean? They're not just for display purposes. Mm. Except so, for a few of them that I'm going to play, but... What Addy Sneaker Freaks just said there, yeah, it's a shame because the reason they haven't done them was because so Enterprise was already shot in HD, so it was easy for them to bring it out on Blu-ray. It was already done. But the thing was, when they did the original series and then, then Next Generation, they realised how expensive it was, and so they stopped doing it. So they didn't do DS9 or Voyager because it, it, they're not, they paid out more than they were getting back. Hmm. Probably another reason why the packaging looks so cheap, Scott, right? Yeah, probably, yeah. So, yeah, unfortunately, like, DS9 is my favourite series. I really wish they would do it because that would look really good in HD. But I don't think we're ever going to get it. <laughs> the problem is with TV and stuff like that is the rights, isn't it? You're never going to get a dedicated sort of label like Arrow bring out yeah. Star Trek, you know, because Arrow will do the full remaster. They'll put in a decent box set. Oh, I don't know, though, because some of these companies are in trouble at the moment, so you never know. You might yeah. be. 
Yeah, you never, you could never say never, I suppose. But well, I mean, there's talks in there at the moment between Paramount and Warner Brothers. Like a lot of them are in trouble at the moment, so you never know. Is that Arrow? Do they? I thought they were always just like horror. So they do other stuff, do they? They do yeah. a lot of cult stuff, art house stuff, kung fu. That you know, anything that's a bit cult and a bit out there. Really. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, see, look, Eddie Sneaker Freak saying here, didn't sell as many. I don't think it was so much that it didn't sell as many, but they weren't making back as much as they'd forked out, yeah. It's probably yeah, why yeah. they flogged it to Netflix, isn't it? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah, possibly. But one thing I can tell you is, after watching it on Netflix and then watching it on the you this is way better. Oh, So definitely. much better. Like you can't beat physical media. The quality is so much better. I actually picked up some uh, physical media from Cherry Shop the other day because I wanted to get a few. I, I'm going for like comedy. That's basically what I want to try and pick up. So I pick these up, like a pound each. Oh, yeah, lovely! Yeah, lovely. I'm missing about half of them now. Funny thing is, I had them. I had all of these, and I bloody got rid of them like you do. You know. When you think that the technology's dead or whatever, but no, um, I've got them, and I want to get things like "Men Behaving Badly," oh, "Open no. Away," uh, "Forty Towers," you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I need to get Forty Towers physical. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in no rush. Do you normally see them dotted about in the charity shops? I don't just, know though. Yeah. I, I would snap them up quick because they're trying to remove them off a lot of streaming platforms. I think they're going to become very yeah. desirable at mm. some point. Because you think they don't exactly sit with the current day politics, do they? Well, no. 40 Towers doesn't, does it? No, no, that's what <laughs> no. I mean. Like, they're going to be very well sought after after a while, I think. Yeah. yeah. 40 Towers is probably one of, the ones, one of my earliest memories around my, uh, my nan and my uncle, you know what I mean? He used to, re he used to record them on his uh, VHS player and we used to watch them back every now and then if he, he couldn't find nothing to watch on the old TV. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can watch 40 Towers over and over and never get bored of that. It, yeah. The thing for me is how short that series was. How did he yeah. only ever get two seasons? Like he didn't want to, he didn't want to. I think he didn't he had other stuff on at the time. You know what I mean? He was doing um Monty Python, Monty Python and other yeah. bits and pieces. And he I also don't think he wanted to some producers and people like that who write they don't want to overkill it yeah do you know what i mean they say, do you know what i mean so you do find that sometimes you only get a couple of seasons and that's it which is very what? frustrating if i really like it what's mad is they're bringing it back aren't they what's that they're, they're, making, they're making a new faulty towers yeah Out, outrageous so Same people like or a remake um john cleese is in it i know that oh, yeah won't be the I same the though, though. Be in it. he's probably long gone isn't he <laughs> yeah. He must be. You know? Well, the thing is, Polly, I think she was married to him in real life, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah. she was. Well, they split up a long time ago. Yeah, so she won't be in it. Uh, but I mean, yeah. the other thing for me, though, right? I mean, it'll have to be like, because of all this new stuff, I doubt it'll be anywhere near as funny because they won't be able to do after stuff. No. You know, you know that you can't take the Mickey out of him being from Barcelona and. And if he turns around and says, don't mention the war and stuff like that, I mean, Jesus, people would go mental, wouldn't they? Yeah, you would never yeah. get away with stuff like that now. Yeah. It's like men behaving badly. I wonder if you might be able to slightly get away with that because it was more like lager jokes and just having a laugh, two lads having a laugh kind of thing. But I don't know. Sometimes it's better off. It's like when you play an old video game sometimes and you've got that memory in your head. Yeah. How it was back in the day. You don't want to destroy that, do you? So sometimes it's better to leave these series alone. I, I think they should definitely leave them alone because it never ends up well, you know, like whenever yeah. they try and redo it. I mean, they tried to do Roseanne at one stage. That didn't work. Fraser they started doing recently. I mean, you don't even hear anyone talking about that, do you? Oh, yeah. I forgot they were doing that, to be fair. Watch this it. is what I, I mean. See, you do. <laughs> I did watch it, but it was I didn't really watch it back in the day, to be honest. No, I didn't. Um, but my missus liked it, so we were we were watching it because like she was quite into it. And, uh, but I could take it or leave it, to be honest. Well, so Fraser. Yeah. 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 I didn't mind back in the day. Do you know what I mean? But I, it wasn't something I just gravitated to. Do you know what did, I mean? Did you know Fraser was a spin-off from Cheers, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. was yeah. Because his character yeah. first appeared in Cheers, yeah. I, don't, yeah. I never really watched Cheers either, to be honest. It's probably 
Um, I'm probably a little bit too young, maybe for I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't into it. Do you know what I mean? Back then. Young Woody Harrison in Cheers. John Cleese. The only remake of something like that that I didn't mind was the Open All Hours. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I quite like that. The specials they done. I kind of like that. Well, yeah. I like the fact that Granville would become exactly what he was. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was clever, you know. Like he turned into the cheapskate, you know. Wasn't that the BBC that did that? Yes, was it yeah, BBC? it was. They, yeah. they, they, I don't think they mess things up too badly. Do you know what I mean when they make a remake? Because they, they, you know, they kind of have you seen Doctor Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no, I don't. I don't watch Doctor Who. I don't like it. Yeah, don't, don't watch it because <laughs> no. the new ones will do you no favors. I couldn't get me a brownie back in the day, let alone now. American Red Dwarf <laughs> was a disaster. Yes, it was. It was a disaster. Who was the only original cast member in the American Red Dwarf? Anyone know? I never watched it. Um, don't know. Polly? Crichton. Crichton, he, was it? He yeah. was in the American one. Because he put on an American accent or Canadian accent, whatever it was, in, <laughs> in the English, uh, the British one, they asked if he would go over to their one. Some of the jokes, man, and like the original Red Dwarf, do you know what I mean? Like, like when he's going, oh, we'll just go, I can't remember what colour it was. Going, we'll go from blue alert to red alert or something. He goes, oh, we mean changing the bulb, changing sir. Changing the bulb, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, it's yeah. some of the, the throwaway lines that are funny, though. Like one of the lines that um, Rimmer says, where he's like, you, you've got the uh, brains of diarrhea and the breeding of a maggot. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's good. That's <laughs> Or, or you're you're as stupid as a cheese sandwich and things like that, you know. And, you like, don't... and the little things like the toaster, like the wind up toaster. You know what I mean? It's just like, do you want oh, some bread? Do you want some toast? Yeah. Do you want some toast? But tell me, do you want to crump it? You know, like... <laughs> well, did you know that the voice of Porky Toaster was the guy who played the original Crichton? Because in season two, Crichton's a different guy. Yeah. Isn't he? I don't know why he changed. Can he? He was. I think he was committed to doing something else at the time. That's right. Saying, yeah. yeah. They they it liked him be. so much, they wanted him to come back, but he couldn't because he was doing something else. So then they gave they him Talky Toaster. So the, the one that took over, I can't remember his name now. He, he was much better, you know what I mean, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He made that role. It was like one of the episodes, I can't remember the episode, where he took his chip out. He said, where he took his morals out or something. And then he's going, oh, this food's good, isn't it? You know what I mean? Because there's no food, oh, right? Oh, season goes, seven. Yeah. Is that, is that dead bloke we found back there? He's yeah, down. we cooked him up. <laughs> uh, take it to ride, I think that's called, isn't it? It's season seven. Yeah, yeah that's brilliant. It's, it's not a great season, but that bit's funny, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the worst part with that season was, you only had one of the guys involved because one of them had left, hadn't he? And then obviously oh, Christopher true. Barry went out of the series as well. So you ended up with Kachensky and it, it just wasn't the same. And there was no laughter. There was no live audience either, which killed it for me. It just yeah. wasn't the same. There was an episode in Only Falls and Horses. I think there was a couple, actually. I think it was a Touch of Class or something like that uh, where they took out the, the laughing. And it was so out of place, do you know what I mean, of uh, an Only Fools episode. And John yeah. Sullivan said it. He said, actually said about it later on. You know what I mean? He goes, I wish I never released it. Do you know what I mean? It's Telly. <laughs> Evening, fellas. I think I think he's on dial-up. <laughs> is it laggy, is it? Yeah, just a bit. You're in freeze oh. frame. <laughs> Is it settling down? I'm not on my mobile phone. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I'll give it a go. I won't, I won't stay on for long anyway. I feel like shit tonight, so uh, I've got my bank holiday cold special. People have been coughing over you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> there should be a lot of warning. You will get shot uh, if you oh. cough over me. <laughs> Drinking yeah. a beer. My first beer of the weekend. The old, uh, beer or a Guinness? A Guinness. Again, well, I thought a bit of iron might help, you see. Yeah, always good. Excuse, mind, it? Mind, mind. This, this is all right. Me yeah. Medical reasons. Yeah, medical reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a cold, so I have a simple. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah, it's not the you know, Alcohol does actually help, though. Like, I remember when I used to get colds now, I used to drink whiskey. That's great stuff, that is. Now, I yeah, I thought that. Because, I don't know if it's because you get hammered so you don't notice the cold too much, whether it actually does do anything. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. 
So, well, I'm I'm that, she was at Arsenal with Thierry Knight. You know what I mean? She lived on, I think she was nearly in her 90s before she passed away. Do you know what I mean? And I was, she used to, I remember as a kid, she'd go, go on, go pour more whiskey out for me. You know what I mean? Like, go take it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Have a couple of sips on the way back. No, mate. No. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm not see, uh, ask, ask her if she wants any to. Yeah, I've already done this. I think I did a short on my channel where I did this. What was yeah. it doing? Then? Does it play it in his voice? Or it, 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 not in his voice, but it repeats exactly what he says. You know, you know when Lister says, "I don't want any, any ba buns, baps, baguettes, or bagels." You know, and then he <laughs> goes on, did he? No potato cakes, no croissants. And he says, "Definitely no smegging flapjacks." He says all of that back to you when you <laughs> when you ask. <laughs> Should I, should I do it? Should I do it now? Yeah, yeah, so do it. it. Yeah, yeah. Alexa, would you like any toast? No, thanks. I want no muffins, no toast, no tea cakes, no buns, babs, baguettes, or bagels, no croissants, no crumpets, no pancakes, no potato cakes, and no hot cross buns, and definitely no flapjacks. There you go. <laughs> but it, it, it misses out. It misses out the smegging. It don't sound quite. Yeah, it would do. Yeah, yeah. no smegging flapjacks. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gibbs. Yeah, how you doing, mate? Hi, mate. Uh, just did that, Steve. Very funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I did a short on it at one stage because I also asked um, if you ask it about Darth Plagueis the Wise, it tells you the story that Palpatine tells you out of uh, Revenge of the Sith. But uh, if you if you say, have you heard of the the oh, what is it story of Darth Plagueis the Wise or something? It, it literally tells you what's said in the film word for word. It's mad how the bloody Alexa things. Uh, you know, you just use. I've got one in my kitchen. I use it for like a timer. You know what I mean? You ask for I've never used Just everything. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure the bug opened into my conversation, though, because you you say something and then all saying something will pop up on my phone or whatever. And <laughs> I, I it, my problem with it at the moment, you know, what I mean? <laughs> the problem I'm having at the moment is is that as time goes on, the more updates they do, the worse it gets. Yeah, I don't know. I, I never know really if it's doing updates or whatever. Just be over my head all the updates and stuff. To be honest. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes it, you do see it light up when you ain't even called it, you know. Does it download the updates itself? Um, well, normally I think you have to do it through whatever device you've got it on. Like, I, I think I'll do it through my phone if I remember right. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I only ever go over to it when it's not working. <laughs> oh, yes. I've just seen, sorry, I've just seen Sank in the chat here. Oh, Christ's sake, it keeps moving. Yeah, this year. I, I saw, um, I, I didn't get a chance to watch it completely. I just started to watch the video and then I had to do something. Yeah, Golden's got a 24 hour live stream coming, hasn't he? Uh, November 2nd. November the 2nd. Yeah, we'll have to. Oh, wow. That's that quite one. a way off then. Yeah. Got no excuse for not being ready, though. Yeah, is he doing that 24 hours all by himself, or has he got other people stepping in? That'd be a hell of a session. Like I say, he did do a video on it, and I started just started to watch it, and then I had to do something, so I had to turn it back off again. So I didn't really get into the video. Uh, close your eyes, wake up the other end. Good calls, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, hang on, what's this? Yeah, six months to sort it all out, yeah. So, Gordon, are you doing it on your own then or with other people? Six months to stock up on coffee. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, he's going to need a lot of monster. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. right now, failing now, I suppose he could always get a bit of speed, but <laughs> I don't think that would go down too well for a charity stream. <laughs> now, painting stream once, but after that, I couldn't do it anymore. 13 hour painting stream. God, Jesus Christ, man. You got your hands got to be crippled up by then, surely. <laughs> You'd be like that. Yeah. <laughs> Hand and eyes were knackered. Yeah. yeah I'm not surprised. My eyes will be blood dry after an hour. 
Uh, see, look, he's saying here if you, anyone else involved. I remember uh, a few years back, Feed Me Chicken did one, didn't he? And he had other people switching with him, I think, if I yeah. remember right. Yeah. Please, he's oh, right. Stream going for 24 hours. Six didn't, um, didn't Bits and Bobs do one? 16 Bits and Bobs. Uh, I, I know he's know. running a marathon, wasn't he? Oh, God. Was that, that? <laughs> do you remember that stream where he just... Yeah, I do. And, that was the quiz, wasn't it? <laughs> I, I remember, yeah, that's I remember Martin's first one. Gin. <laughs> I, I remember in the comments, I kept saying, "So have you got a marathon coming up, Rino?" Because he just kept saying it, didn't he? <laughs> that's him. How Martin did that, where he just sat there and he's just like, "Yeah, yeah," you know, like <laughs> I would have just gone, "Right, let's just get him out of there." <laughs> I would have yeah. just kicked him out. <laughs> Martin stepped up straight into it there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing like one of them neon uh, graphics of like the dead man fingers gin, and I sent it to him. He goes, yeah. I can't even look at it, Al. <laughs> <laughs> right, so he's oh, got Roller Core, Baha Ha, Retro Bear, Ink Northern Al, Hyper Trigger X, and Glory Under. Oh, okay, so he's got a few people be helping him out. That'll be good. Yeah. yeah. I bet there'll be lots of shoot mups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Eddie and Dylan, brother in law, fell asleep live on camera when playing a game. Uh, do you remember when Trev Rock and Roller got drunk on one? Do you remember that? Yeah, he just passed out, didn't he? I, I think it was on one of um, Al's Christmas streams, wasn't it? He just, he just passed out. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. You know what I mean? Uh, you got to have a laugh, haven't you? Like last time, last time I had him on here. Funny enough, it was one of these we did, wasn't it, uh, Tetley? He then ran it. Oh yeah. Car. Like he, he goes, oh, do you want to see me run a control car? I was like, all right, and he got it down. It was like this. It was. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> and then he says, and then he says it does about sixty mile an hour, and I was like, yeah. Imagine if that hit someone. Like, <laughs> that would just yeah, mash your legs. Like, when I was living in Australia, a couple of my mates out there. They uh, they bought a couple of them uh, remote control uh, petrol ones, and they were literally they just spent about a thousand dollars each on these cars, right? And they were racing them around the park, and they were trying to hit each other's. And I'm, I'm looking at them, I'm going, you should just spent like two thousand dollars on these cars, you idiot, and you're trying to smash them up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that 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 is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hope we raise a ton of money. I can hopefully make it a yearly thing. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whenever you put anything up about it, Gibbs, um, drop us a message and I'll stick it in my community tab. You yeah, see how many tubers you can like, see you get a record amount of tubers to go on your stream kind of thing. Well, the other know. thing is, if you think, right, if everybody in the community <laughs> shared this on their community tab, imagine how many people would watch it. If everybody yeah. did it, maybe this is something we should try and do, get everybody to share it. Amazing film poster. Oh, look, someone likes your poster, Ted. <laughs> yeah. Even though King Kong's not on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's inside Mecha Godzilla's suit. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you see that toy that I sent you the link for? In that in that video. Yeah. Where where you in that video it showed you the, the Godzilla suit where you put the man figure inside him. Oh Just yeah, like yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I think I've seen that before. Yeah, just in case anyone's wondering. So basically, I was watching a video, and there's a toy out. Obviously, the old Godzillas used to be a man in a suit, right? When they were fighting, so they brought a toy out where you actually had a man figure, and then <laughs> like the rubber suit you put him in. That's the toy. <laughs> and so I sent a link to Tetley for the video so you could have a look at it. Yeah. I think that guy died, didn't he, recently? The, the guy that used to be in the suits. Pretty yeah, sure I read I that. So. I think so. I'll tell you who else died recently. Um, what's his name? Louis Gossett Jr. as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, was he in Enemy Mine? Yes. yes. And oh, Iron I love Eagle. that movie. Yeah. And Iron Eagle. It was, I really Enemy liked Mine was a great movie. Iron Eagle. I'll just put it out there. Iron Good Eagle, film. to me, was better than Top Gun. I, I don't know if I say that, but I do have a boat. Over the, 
Sorry, I do have on, a boatload of nostalgia for it. I do because I, I remember. I don't. I didn't understand yeah. why people like Top Gun. I was like, now nah, I need to way. I'm going to shock you. I'm going to shock you now. I've not Excuse seen me. either Top Gun movie. Oh my well, god! Yeah. That, that, do you want to know? <laughs> do you want to know why? Because it's like um, my mates. Are, my mates took the piss uh, for me not seeing it years ago. And it's just like a running joke now. So I don't watch it to wind them up. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but you're missing out, though, mate. You're really missing out. Maybe. You need to watch them. It's, it's, so just, good. Uh, you're it's not, just so funny. You are. Alex, you're really not missing out on anything. No, no, no. Right. right, look. Think of it like this. In this current time of woke, woke trash, right, the only good film that come out in recent years was Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> you, honestly, See, go uh, watch it. Go watch I would it. say the best action film to come out after all this woke bullshit was Rambo: Last Blood. Oh, that was good as yeah. well. Oh, right, good as well. Was it Rambo Four? Even that one. Was it Rambo Four where like he's on the back of a truck and he's got like yeah. a minigun on it? Yeah, and he just turns around and obliterates someone. And, yeah, and just turns them all in. How did he get away with that? And I don't know, but like, that is the best scene a, in a Rambo movie. That is. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. zero filter. It was yeah. just like. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, this is quality. Yeah, but you know why, don't you? Because he directed that one. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah. fuck it. I, I, I want this in there. So it's happening. Like, you know, I mean, even the bit where he slices that, the man, guy man. in half at the end as well. Like, yeah. Uh, it's proper, proper carnage, isn't it? It's a, it's a great scene, though. That's easily like the best scene out of a Rambo film, I think. I, I like the Rambo films. films. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's a lot of viewing there. Yeah, actually, I was Is watching. That really um, how many there are? Thirty. Not surprised. Yeah, me. I've got it. You think they'd be going for seventy years now? Yeah. I was watching um, Godzilla. Which one was that? Now the one with the lobster. Um, oh, I'm so terrible remembering bloody names. Um, God, that's how that's how bad my memory is. I watched it earlier. The one with the lobster. <laughs> The crustacean. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really like, let me check. Yeah, yeah. I know which one you mean. Um, I like that one. They play the old tennis with the rock at one point. For whatever reason, the only villain or the bad monster I remember is Mothra. <laughs> oh, Mo yeah, it's kind of, she's kind of a goodie, though, isn't she, really? Mothra. Well, yeah. She was in that one, actually. She's in that movie I was on about. Oh, I can't believe oh, I can't remember one. the name. Des Destoroya? No, no, no. That's that's one of the um, uh, Heisei ones. This is one of the Showa ones. Um, they all link them. All thirty movies. Not, not really. There's a lot of there's a lot of breaks between them. Uh, hang on, let me check. Oh, hang on. Get Ganymedes. No. It's like movies nowadays. It's like the Batman movies. It all seems to be like another bloody Batman movie coming out. Oh, Ebirah. That's it. Like, is this one connected to the last one? Do you know what I mean? Or. or... Yeah, the Godzilla movies jump around all over the place. I oh, mean, when yeah. the um, Heisei era started, they basically just ignored all of the Showa era Godzillas apart from the first one. The one yeah. that one uh, they did in the late nineties with um, was it Broderick or whatever his name is? Oh, that was shit. The Jamiroquai one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That was the worst. That was the worst one yeah. for me. Oh, no, yeah. that, is that the oh, worst oh, Godzilla oh, film? That one. Yeah, yes. for me it is. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. That, that, I mean, that wasn't even really Godzilla, was it, at all? No. Anyway. Ugly, ugly um, creation of Godzilla as well. Who the hell came up with that design? Well, they, they made it look more like an iguana, didn't they? Oh, in it. They left it open, didn't they, at the end as well, to make a sequel. And it was at the time where, you know what I mean, that they probably were bringing out sequels left, right and centre. So mm. for it not to get a sequel must have done really fucking bad, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? Because I don't know. I, 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 much I think more that must have been in the cinema then, but it, I just remember everyone being really disappointed as they were coming out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There was another movie as well around about that time. What was it called? Will Smith in it. Um, Wild Wild West or something? That, Do you remember oh, that? Oh, oh, I've never seen that. Yeah. That was garbage. Don't, I've don't never seen it. it. Don't watch it. It's what terrible. Wild Wild? Oh, God. Uh, God it was horrendous. Bad. But it was at that time where they would just sort of like make any kind of movie, you know what I mean? Like like that. Yeah. And it was just, oh, no, you, you really shouldn't have. Do you know what I mean? 
You know what surprised me was the fact that they got Kevin Klein in that. I was like, how the hell did they get him to go in that film? Well, was a massive, it was a massive budget, though, weren't it? It was like fucking yeah. they were getting paid ridiculous money. Yeah, but look what yeah. they've done to it. Like, oh, God, that film was terrible, wasn't it? Oh, my God. It's a almost as bad as Mars Attacks. I yeah. actually like that film. <laughs> Mars Attacks? I quite like Mars Attacks. No, yeah, if, I, he had a, if he had a said almost yeah. as bad as Ghost of Mars, if he had a said almost as bad as Ghost of Mars, I would have accepted that one. But Mars Ghost Attacks... Mars. Yeah, I, I have seen yeah. that, but I can't really remember it. Don't watch Bad Boys 3, it's shit. And I, I, I know that loads of people like it. I'm sorry. I, I don't think I'd have been drawn to watch it anyway. Bad Boys 3 was shit. I didn't like that film at all. They just copied Lethal Weapon 4, you know, it's like, oh, they're past it. And then they've done a new one, forgetting all about that. Like, is that right? Like is that right? Will, Smith, Will Smith was meant to be in The Matrix. You might be right on that. I think they asked him before they asked Keanu Reeves. Oh, well, I couldn't believe how shit that last Matrix was. Because, um, what's his name? Keanu Reeves, uh, he... He didn't take a massive wage, did he, from the first one? He took like a, a percentage of the takings. Well, that, that, that was he quite, quite a smart move, to be fair. Yeah, I think he did, I think he's quite a, a generous man, actually, because I think he actually gave a lot of the sort of the smaller staff members and all that on that movie quite a hefty bonus and all that. I think he shared the wealth, basically. From what you hear, when it comes, I mean, I know that a lot of what you hear coming out of Hollywood is a load of trash and. They lie through their teeth, but a lot of people do say he's a really nice guy. Does a lot for charity and stuff. And also, let's not forget, most of what you see him do in these films, he can do this stuff. Like he's actually got his own shooting range, isn't he? Like when you see him in the Matrix going along with the gun shooting and and John Wick, where he's doing all the gun food oh, stuff, yeah, yeah. he can actually do all of that. Like he's, he's definitely trained, not a guy he do that man a lot as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he did come through for Matrix as well. I mean, he quite literally is the sort of person that you don't want to fuck with. Like, he would mess you up. <laughs> like, you had to stop in his house. A bit terrible in, because he, he, you know what I mean? But the sort of like the Matrix and uh, what's the one where he shoots? Uh, John Wick, them kind of movies. He suit him, do you know what I mean? I must admit, I do like John Wick. Yeah. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but. <laughs> Just two hours of mindless like shooting of people and I love the first one. I thought the yeah, first, the first one. one. This one's amazing. I think mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Two, two and three kind of got a little bit when they started expanding. I think they kind of lost yeah. it a bit. But then when they did four, it kind of reminded me of the first one. Oh shit! It's not me, Mike. It kind of went back to the first one a bit. I felt so. I liked one and four more than I liked two and three. Yeah. I can't really remember three that much. I remember one, two, and four, but three, I can't really remember what happened, actually. Most of number three is in the hotel. That's why I think it kind of got a bit, you know. Have you seen Have you seen the Continental, the spin-off? No. Yeah. That is good. That is yeah, definitely worth that. a watch. That is really good with Mel Gibson, isn't it? Um, mm. Again, that was another series that I felt I was gutted when it finished. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and another series like that recently is The Gentleman. Have you seen that? I no, I've, that yet. I've heard I've been about not that. On that as well. Fix, so I haven't watched that yet. I don't know if I'm biased because I love all that kind of London gangster kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, sort of Guy Ritchie kind of thing and Snatch and all them sort of movies, Lock Stop. And it was just, when, again, when it finished, I was like, I want more. I want it now. Do you know what I mean? I can't wait for the next sort of two years or whatever it's going to take to record another season. If if you um, like Guy Ritchie, watch, um, oh, what's that film he did? Was it The Covenant? The Covenant. I think, I think it's him. I'm that. sure that's I it. Most of them, I think. It, it basically, hang on, let me just double check. I'm sure it is Guy Ritchie, but I want to make sure. Is it, him? Is it him? Yeah. So oh, the Covenant yeah. is, I think it's an Amazon movie, if I remember right. Yeah, it is Guy Ritchie. Yeah, come out last you, year. If you get a chance, one. watch that because that's one is where it, he's in. Is that the Gulf War one? <laughs> no, no, they're in Afghanistan. Oh, Afghanistan. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Basically, I, I don't really want to give it all away, but um, what's it on? It's on Amazon Prime. I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it a look up. I'll give it a look. Yeah, it's free to watch. It's really good. I enjoyed it. Covenant? 
yeah, the covenant. I like, I like it when people recommend things for me because I, I often go to bed. I go through Netflix, can't find nothing. And I go through Amazon, can't find nothing. And then I go to that, uh, what's it called? The other one. Paramount, is it? And I'm just like, it's too much choice. You know what I mean? It's not the only thing worth watching on any of them. Jake Gyllenhaal, <laughs> that's who it is, that's isn't it? it? Jake Gyllenhaal, he's the main star in it. Yeah. It wasn't Burt Reynolds that turned down Indiana Jones. It was Tom Selleck. Yeah, Tom Selleck, yeah. Yeah. Tom Selleck, yeah. So do you know, it is one for you. Do you know why Burt Reynolds isn't in Smoking the Bandit 3? Do you know the story behind that? Layer Cake, what a movie. Layer Cake, sorry. Layer Cake's one of my favourite movies of all time. But no, go, but I don't know why he's not in there. Why, why, is he, why is he not in it? So, so what happened was he, he did a, an earlier film or a TV series. And basically what was happened was he was supposed to get hit with a chair. And it was supposed to be like a prop chair, right? So the idea was it would fall apart and look like it's hit him in the face and broke, right? Only somehow the chair got switched and <laughs> someone ended up hitting him with a full, full normal, solid wood chair. No, and and broke it. broke his jaw. Mm. So as a result, he ended up on painkillers and then he got addicted to painkillers, which is why he's yeah. not in uh smoking the bandit free. That's why Snowman plays him in that film. I suppose you have to think himself lucky he wanted rust. In what? Rust. That one where oh, um, rust. somebody got yeah. shot. <laughs> oh, Alec Baldwin was the one who did yeah. that, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, how, 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 does, how does that happen? How does that happen in this day and age? Do you know what I mean? No, they I have like know. two pots, like ammunition, like fake and real. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just, Why it's, would there be any real uh, ammunition in there? That's weird. Someone didn't like her. Someone must well, have liked her. What, what you've got to remember is, is that a, a blank can turn into a real bullet if the chamber's not cleared. And that's that's what happened in uh, The Crow when Brenda Lee got shot. Right, then, if, it's, if the chamber's not what? If the chamber's if, not cleared, a blank can turn into a real bullet. Can it now? I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, so basically what happened in the crow was they'd uh, they'd previously used the gun and when they fired the blank, it got lodged in the chamber and no one checked it. So then when they did the scene the following day, the part where they sh he, he gets shot, they put the blank in and when he fired the blank, it activated what was stuck in the chamber. So and that's how he, shrapnel, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's how he died. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's getting remade as well, isn't it? The crow. Oh, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> oh, that, everything's that, being remade at the minute. That is the biggest insult ever. Like, personally, I don't think that's a film that should be remade. <laughs> no, he died doing really that right. film. That film's sacred. Yeah. You should leave that alone now. Yeah, that's true. Shouldn't be doing it. It's, it's, it's yeah. like, it, it, you know, he, he literally got shot on. In a scene in that film, which is still in that film, and you're going to remake maybe, it. Maybe, no. they, maybe they could do it a lot of remake, but maybe just leave it longer. Do you know what I mean? Because it's still not that long ago. Do you know what I mean? No, you know, the thing is, it just doesn't need to be remade. Seem, no, I know. Like, remakes seem coming after about 20 years now. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, fucking hell. It used to be like 50, 60 years that a remake would come out. It's, it's like oh, I always say, right? The only time you should ever remake a movie is if it flopped the first time round, because no matter yeah. what you do, you're never going to do a better job, unless it was bad to begin with. The Crow is a perfect movie. It doesn't need redoing. Great to see you guys on the big screen. Yeah, great watching you. I need <laughs> to watch it again. Because I haven't the seen it is, probably. The, the thing is with The Crow is they could redo it, but just make it as a continuation of someone else coming to life because of yeah whatever, and, and the crow brings him to life. It doesn't have to have anything to do with the original film. Well, the other problem with this new version is they've changed things because from what I can tell, and this is just going by the trailer, by the way, in the original, he dies, and then a year later, he comes back. He basically, yeah. like, he's brought back to life by the crow, and he gets he literally gets out of his grave, right? In this film, it looks like he's already got the ability to come back. So when he's shot, he comes back instantly. So they've already changed something. Like they've they've now made it more more superpowers than supernatural. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that's what they'll do, though, innit? You know, superheroes are so it's just everything, innit? 
But then, you know, you've also got the fact that, you know, they've they've changed the look of him. I mean, he basically looks like Jay Leto's Joker. Yeah. You that know, I like, was not impressed with. No. Like, you know, yeah. th there's a reason why he looks the way he does in the first film is because he looks creepy as fuck. And, and like, the way you see him in this new one, they don't look creepy. It just looks stupid. Like, What's the bad know? guy in the original Crow? I think we talked about this before, weren't we, in the group, like, He's a kick-ass bad guy in most movies. I can't remember his name now. Yeah, I, like yeah, I know who you mean. The Metro, wasn't he? In that, like, uh, yeah, and Prince of Thieves. He was a good actor back in the day. Yeah, uh, I just want to go back and address this um, comment that that James put in here. What we're thinking about Gladiator Two? It's going to be a disaster. Well, I didn't even know they were making a second one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. They They've are. been saying yeah. that for years, though, weren't they? They were going to do a sequel. No, this is actually yeah. happening. This is happening right now. What with Steve. what's his name? No, I don't think it's him, but he's uh, now. He died at the end of the first one, didn't he? Well, he's supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> um I can't remember why, but I remember hearing some things about it and it didn't sound good. It sounds terrible. Um the thing is, I mean, I think it is it Ridley Scott doing it again. I think it is, isn't it? Right, and and I know every there are certain people that think Ridley Scott for some reason is the greatest thing to ever walk the earth. And in recent, in, in olden times, yes, but in recent years, no. You know, he did Prometheus and Alien Covenant. You can't tell me that he's still good at it because he's not. Them two films. Sure Ridley awesome. Scott's doing something else. I've read about as well recently. It's a bit busy, isn't it, at the minute? Yeah, that's not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think. Do you think? Do you think like uh, as well? Because there's been a lot of disasters with things that have been remade or new stuff that's come out. The, the, the second that you hear something that's going to come out, you're instantly like, oh, you, you, you're yeah. kind of you're thinking it's going to be trash, and you don't even you know it could be all right, but you just instantly think, well, they're going to fuck it up. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I, I would uh, say. I wouldn't say I always feel like that, but I'm always like sort of on the air of caution, especially yeah. if it's a remake. If it's a remake, I'm always like, why? Why are you doing this? Like, you know, because like I could say most of the remakes they do don't need remaking. Um, if it's like, if it's a new idea, then yeah, not so much because I mean, you know, if it's a new idea, you can do whatever you want with it. It's, so when it's an existing like IP, which unfortunately is what they're doing all the time now, isn't it? I suppose there like, aren't many new ideas, oh, are there? Really? Yeah, it's, always a good really it, it's a good way of putting it. If it's a remake, you know what I mean. You get mm. thing, but it's like sometimes if you get another movie, like could be like uh, number two or whatever, and it's a different story, but it's in the same timeline. I suppose that's more acceptable, isn't it? Than sometimes when they try and put their own. Uh, stamp on it and they just get it wrong so badly yeah, yeah. i've seen a lot of, i've seen a lot of sequels and i've gone oh that's crap compared to the original do you know what i mean and well my, my biggest problem when they redo things this is what pisses me off like you always hear this saying um uh altered for a modern audience like the minute i hear that my <laughs> if cara was here if cara was here she'd tell you right i will literally this is the noise i make when i hear it or it's made for a modern audience and i go ugh well, uh, that's what you'll hear out of me. So I am like, oh, made to be more inclusive. I hate it. the minute you hear that, it's like, <laughs> why are you trying to reinvent the wheel here? Like, you, you know, you're not going to make this better by sticking all this crap in it, you're just going to make it worse. And and then, no, you get, no, and then you get the, the fans that seem to think that they have the right, then the new fans seem to think they have the right, then to tell you how you should feel about something that you watched when you was a kid, you know, meaning you've been in there longer. That's the other thing that gets up my nose a bit. Like, you're getting where a lot of the Trekkies, where they started doing this Kurtzman Trek stuff, they then start trying to tell people like me that have been fans since we was a kid how we should feel about it. And it's like, no, fuck you. Like, what do you know? You just come along, mate. You start telling me how I should feel about saying I watched when I was a kid. I know how I feel because I understood it. What you're watching isn't Star Trek, because he isn't. And it, this is what mm. I think you're finding with a lot of this stuff now. When they jump on these IPs, a lot of this stuff that they're doing, it, it, they're saying it's part of that world, but it isn't. They're changing it, and that's the problem, I think. 
you know? What Paul put there about Aliens and the, the Romulus film, that will be good because it, the um, director yeah. really? is a fucking great director. The uh, oh, the God. story the story behind it, if it's what if it's what I've been reading, it sounds pretty good, and it will relate to the uh, like two of the Alien movies. It's definitely going to have lots of tension, lots of yeah. atmosphere, because you've only got to go uh, on these other films. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I, I'm hoping. I, I really hope it's good because we've had so many clangers from the. Yeah. Now, like when you look at it now, the bad movies in the Alien franchise outnumber the good ones. How yeah, bad is that? That's true. We've had four terrible movies. Yeah. If you, if you count the AVP movies, you could easily say that there's six bad ones, oh, really. Yeah, they were all like, shit. You know? So I had a box set once, DVD really? box set. I think it had about, I'm sure I had about eight movies on it, like Alien versus Predator and. No, I've had Predator. I don't know. He's in a big old silver thing. But some some of the Alien versus Predator ones at the end are a bit like, oh, uh, you just you're just making this movie to make money, no. really. I know. I, I know even want them in my box set. Money, it's <laughs> not about the franchise. It's more about I want to get people in the seats to eat popcorn, and not really about they weren't passionate about making the movie. Do you know what I mean? But do you know the funny thing though, right? Even though you know them films are fairly bad, like when you compare it to some of this new stuff, I'd rather watch them. Yeah. No, no, yeah. they're bad because yeah. although they're bad, they're not as bad as the new shit we're getting. They're really <laughs> not. You know, I would rather watch a bad 80s movie than some yeah. of this new crap that's coming out now. Yeah. And at least you know it's bad and you can enjoy how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like agree. This new stuff just makes you want to shoot yourself. Like, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll tell you a movie that did that really disappointed me actually it was the last Jurassic Park movie. I don't know if you guys like Jurassic Park. I don't know if you watched that. Yeah, I like, like the originals. Oh, I don't man. like the remakes. Yeah, the new ones. I don't mind the new ones. The, thing, the last one they did was pretty awful, do you know what I mean, in my opinion. The new ones, I tried to watch the first one of the new ones twice, I think, and just thought, this is bollocks. I just couldn't get into yeah, it. Yeah, they're not as good as the originals, but I, I didn't mind them because, you know, I watched them with my children and that. But the last one was just like... Oh man, this is this isn't the, the last one I thought thing. was all right. Hey, no, it's the one late. What it's the one where they were going down the river and the uh, one of the dinosaurs was eating the mobile phone and it was ringing. I thought that one was all right. Number three, yeah, that was, was all right. That one. One. Yeah. yeah, but you know, I the still never going to go to cinema. You know the funny I mean? thing was, I, I was talking to someone recently and I said to they were like, Oh, these new ones are terrible. And I was like, well, Why do you keep going to watch them? And it was like, well, because where where else do you see dinosaurs eating people? <laughs> and I was like, so that's literally the only reason you're watching these films. Because <laughs> you want to see people getting eaten by dinosaurs and no one else is doing it. Yeah. Okay. There's plenty of that on um, Sci-Fi Channel or whatever it's called now. It's legend. I just thought it was funny when I heard that. I thought maybe that is the reason that these films still make money then. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I went and watched the last ones. I watched all the modern ones with my children at the cinema. Do you know what I mean? And they quite enjoy it. But I just remember coming out of the cinema, the last one with them, and they're a bit like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think they were just bored. They were felt, I think they just felt a bit bored of it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Which is probably, uh, I don't think they're going to make any more. What Billy's yeah. saying here, like, you know, basically what I was saying a second ago, you know, even a bad 80s movie is better than this new mm. stuff. Um, 100%. Scott, you grabbed the box set you was going to show us earlier, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Nothing related to what we're talking about, though. We're going back to <laughs> our youth and kids' TV. Yeah, go on. Oh, yeah. Uh, now we're talking. Yeah, yeah I've got that. It's, it's, that's a great it's series because it's got gonna, all of them. I'm going to make, make Eden watch this with me because I just wanted to get uh, to watch some of my old cartoons. So, yeah. Oh, I, I keep thinking of getting uh, kids box sets i mean i'll tell you one i want to get is um one with david jason uh count duckula do you remember that oh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah right. i love that yes you know what he I mean? did danger mouse think. as well didn't he voice yeah. yeah yeah i've got, I've got yeah. some of him as well the danger mouse ones my, my boys grew up watching proper decent stuff <laughs> i wonder if you can i wonder if duckula is a, in a box set Actually, it I is, yeah, I'm sure it is. The complete season, I'm sure you can get it at CX and pay I think they're quite out. pricey, though, if I remember right. Yeah, I think they're a lot of them are in DVD, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw Dungeons and Dragons recently, 
um, which I nearly picked up, but I, I put it back down. I, I kind of regret not picking it up now because it was like the complete. Uh, I sell there. that a lot in my shop, the Dungeon yeah. and Dragons. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. come in. But there's a few of them I want to pick up. Do you know what I mean? Like just to show my children, because they're all watching crap on TV now. They don't even watch cartoons. They're watching YouTube, like of kids playing with toys and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, play your own bloody toys, yeah. man. Play with your own toys. Don't play watch kids play <laughs> toys. Or they oh, sit there watching another kid play Roblox. And I'm like, why yeah. don't you play Roblox? Why are you watching someone else? Play? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See what yeah. we normally do is like they, they play on their computers or whatever and they go up to their bedrooms, my kids, and then they watch YouTube or kids YouTube for a bit and then they maybe read about ten minutes before they go to bed. And that, like and you like what you say, Scott, is like every time I go in their room, there is some kid playing a game or something, or and I'm yeah. like, Oh wow, man, you've just been playing that game for eight hours or something, you know, now you're watching some kid <laughs> play it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the same. He does all that. Yeah. The only time I watch someone playing a video game is if I'm stuck and I can't get yeah, past yeah. the level. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> one way of doing it, yeah. I, I should probably mm. show you some of the cartoons I've got. If I, oh, actually, no. No, it'd be too much hassle. I've got I've got so many old ones down here. I've got, like, I've some of them I've got here, I, I, especially Woody Woodpecker. They were old. Oh, when Woody Woodpecker. They were old when I was a kid, and and although they're yeah. on DVD, you can see they've been taken straight off film because the quality is terrible in them. How old are you? Yeah. Uh, forty six. Well, forty six this year. So, all oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I've uh, trapdoor obviously is another one I've got. Uh, loads of Danger Mouse, Chilton and the Wheelies. Do you remember Chilton and the oh, Wheelies? Oh yeah, what? yeah. Do you right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got some of the He Man, Thundercats. Uh, but I love my Warn uh, my Looney Tunes, Warner Brothers. Yeah, Looney Tunes, man. Yeah, They're awesome. Wiley Coyote, Best of Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck. I've got loads of them down here. I've got Sam a lot of cartoon sets. I'm trying, but my, my tower's the wrong way round. But I know I've got Rescue Rangers, Chip and Dale, and. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Go back I've got the complete. I've got Flintstones as well. Oh yeah, um, yeah. He Man. Yeah. I've de I want to get Thundercats. I've got He Man. Um, I've got Dog Tanyan as well. Can you remember that? No, yeah, with the um, Musketeers. Yeah, yeah. With a musket. Yeah, I've got loads. I want to get. I definitely want to get Thundercats. City of Gold. Jason the Wheel Warrior. There's so many I want to get. Yeah. yeah. See, Jason the Wheel Warrior. I want that, but the problem is you can only get it on Region One. Yeah, the, they, oh, I don't know why like that, isn't it? the bastards won't release it over here. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, it's only one season that as well. How did, how did yeah. that only get one season? Criminal, isn't it? Yeah, got such a good intro as well. I did pick up a couple of comics though, nerdy geezer. Oh, Pete's yeah. I, I've got some actually to show in a bit. Yeah, yeah, go on. Let's have a I'll look. Take out the bag because the reflection. Oh, I don't, I don't know if you should. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Hello, Batman Lovely. 89. <laughs> yeah, is that number is that, one. Is that the first number one? one. Yeah, right. number yeah. one. And nice. it's the this is a limited this uh, the Francesco Martini variant cover, and it was only um available at Spectral Comics. Oh, very nice. Oh, I just very thought nice. that artwork was amazing. I just that love is. how he's standing in front of the Batman. That almost needs like framing, doesn't it? Amazing. That's what I was thinking about doing with it. Well, that, that's yeah. a that's a variant cover, that one. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what they do now yeah. is they release them with about eight different versions of the cover. But it wasn't I, I, cheap. Yeah. I, oh, I yeah. Think get like um, get like one of them IKEA shelves. You know what I mean? Where with the, like the little lip on it, where you can like lean it on the wall, kind of thing. So you see. Uh, oh, that's what I got yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. That's and it. Yeah. I got issue two. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Oh, oh. See, yeah, I, I, I tend to get like the normal covers because otherwise you end up like treating them more like um, more like trading cards rather than comics. If you know what I mean. Well, I'm going to buy the graphic novel that you've got. So yeah, they'll, yeah. Never, they'll never get read. Should, should <laughs> I grab it? The artwork. I'll, hang on, I'll grab that because I don't think everyone's seen that. Hang on, let me grab it. I'll, I'll quickly show you something. Do you fancy seeing some tits? Did you say tits? Yeah. 
was like, did he really? Is it, part, like, is it part of the watershed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pit. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're gonna get this string cut off with bloody but, YouTube. Look, this is this is nine this is 1976, right? But you can see why I bought it. Hang on. Where did you find that in the toilet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I had a page you stuck together. Check this out. <laughs> I had a page you stuck together. That's awesome. Doing that. Very cool. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Cracking. You got packets of cigarettes in here, right? Thirty-one pence. No, thirty pence. Look at this. Bloody hell! That's some time ago, then, isn't it? Yeah, right. These, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Embassies, isn't it? I think. Embassy, embassy, embassy there's, there, there's, there aren't any tits inside here, so um, <laughs> yeah, false advertising. Yeah, like I said, it's a good job there isn't the pages be stuck together, otherwise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, oh, do you know what? This is still sealed. I haven't opened this yet. Yeah, I, I need to get that. I keep forgetting to bloody order it. I need to order it. I can't see because of reflection, nearly. What is it? Hang on, let me show. That's the back. Oh, that's Very cool. And that's hang on, that's the front. See it? Nice, yeah. So th this is basically from what Chef was telling me. This is meant to be what we should have got in Batman Returns, or is it Batman Forever? One of them. Basically, Robin's meant to come into it and various other things because you can see Robin on the back. Um, there, no, there. <laughs> So, but yeah, so I have recently had one of my comics come through. Bit of a story with this one. So that was the first lot of Batman 89, and this is the second lot. This is issue two of Batman 89 Echoes. Very now, cool. that, that cool. is not Batman there, just so you know. That is Batgirl. <laughs> And I believe that's Harley Quinn there. So this this is issue two. Now, issue one, I got, I think, December, maybe January. This one was meant to come out January. It's only just been released. Like three months they delayed it by before they released yeah. it. Like, I don't know if Billy's... Oh, they released that. Then, man. Huh? What are they, bi-monthly or something? They're supposed to be, yeah. yeah. There's six issues... And that's only issue two, and it's taken three months to release that. <laughs> it's not good, is it? No. Now, I would like to tell you what issue two is like, but I haven't actually read it yet. So I only come through the other day, so I still need to read it. But issue one's not bad. It's uh, minor spoilers, but all I'm going to say is with the first issue, you find out that Batman's missing. So, and they're trying to find him. So, yeah. But, uh, I like the artwork on it. But like mm. I say, with that one, same as the ones you've got there, Scott, there was loads of different variants. But one of them is the Batcave with the Batmobile parked up the top and you're looking up at it sort of thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like yeah. To say. yeah. Um, I actually got mine off of eBay because it worked out cheaper than getting it on Forbidden Planet because it's two sixty five on Forbidden Planet, but then you've got to pay, I think it's like four quid postage, something like that, or two ninety nine. Whereas on eBay, there was a guy doing it free postage, 440 So I bought it off there. It was cheaper. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, if you have a look on there, you'll probably find it on, on eBay, Scott. Yeah, it's a few, few different variants. I was panicking yeah. because that said that that Batman 89 graphic novel, the one I had saved, ships in three to six months. So it's out of stock, but I found another seller on Amazon with it. So I'm going to order that. What the, the one I just shown the Batman 89 one, yeah, 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 yeah. slightly dearer, it's a pound dearer from another seller, but at least I'll get oh, that's it. not too bad. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, no big deal. Is, is it the hardback variant? Yeah, yeah, hardback, yeah, yeah, sounds like Star Wars episode seven. Oh, what, yeah, Batman's missing, yeah, it kind of does, yeah, <laughs> yeah, hey, hopefully, they won't do the same as they did with that. Um, but yeah, I've got a few other comics actually, yeah, I might as well show, but before I do. Cara bought me this the other day. You're a fan of Slash? You like your yeah. metal, don't you, Scott? I like the oh. metal, but for whatever reason, I was never really a big fan of Slash or Guns N' Roses, really. I liked a couple of their tracks, but... 
So it says here, uh, surviving Guns N' Roses, Velvet Revolver, and Rock Snake Pit. I mean, I liked all them stuff because I like Slash. I think he's pretty good. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that would be an interesting read. Um, but, hang on, I'm trying to find somewhere to put this damn thing. I'm running out of room. Let's move that there. Just knock the microphone again. Um, so, yeah, comics. Uh, oh, actually, before I show the comics, CD. What do you think of Ozzy Osbourne, Scott? Yeah, I love Ozzy's early stuff. This Great. is one of his later ones, like Black Rain. I've listened to a couple of tracks. It's not too bad. Yeah, I love. I loved sort of like Ozzy in the eighties and that when he yeah. first <laughs> met Black Sabbath, he was great. Me too. Yeah, I, my I my, like my favorite record, my favorite record of all time is Black Sabbath: The Warning. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah, that's an epic. Yeah, Paranoid's good as well. Yeah. Mm. So, got this one here. Oh, JSA versus Cobra. So Justice. Is it Justice League of America? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Justice Society, should I say. Yeah, so this one, I haven't read it yet, but that's a that's a number one. Then I've got... Hang on. Flash. The Flash, number one, season zero. This one I had to get when I saw it. Transformers, because a lot of the new Transformers ones are pretty good. Like some of the others, you've got to watch it because there's a lot of this woke crap coming into them. But these, the Transformer ones, don't seem to be affected by it. IDW don't seem to be don't into that. Yeah, huh? don't, don't you. <laughs> you jinxed it. <laughs> well, um, um, I'm sure I'm not the first to say it, so we should be all right. Moon Knight. That's a graphic novel, that one. What's the what's the part of the comics like a Moon Knight? The only thing I know of Moon Knight is the TV series. Well, I've got to be honest. Moon Knight wasn't. I, I, it wasn't really a comic line I really got into, but I did want to because he was an interesting character because he's meant to have like psychological issues. Yeah. So you so you're never quite sure if what's going on is actually going on or not. Which is what they do in the TV program, and I kind of like that. I kind of like. Well, is this really well, fucking happening, or is he just mad? <laughs> they, they they kind of do do it in a TV series, but it, it seems very quick that they didn't point out, no, he isn't mad, it's actually happening. Whereas in the comics, they didn't really do that, or at least at the start they didn't. So, yeah. you know, like most TV series, they, they for some reason always want to let the cat out of the bag way sooner than they need to, don't they? So, yeah. X-Men Legacy. I do like a bit of X-Men. I've got. See, that's well, the one thing I was then going to say. Do you know what? Out of all these superhero films and all this bullshit that comes out now, why don't they just reboot the X Men and do it again? They are. <laughs> are they going to do that? Are they? Uh, have you not seen the latest cartoon X Men '97? I haven't watched that yet because I was waiting for them all to happen. So then I was going to watch it because yeah, they're not all so... yet, are they? I was going to binge it. A, a lot of people are complaining because they've done their usual, where it's like, "Oh, Wolverine's gay now," and <laughs> what? I'm not even, you think I'm joking? I'm serious. They've made Wolverine gay, right? Um, the, um, classic. There's a character we called X Men when we were kids, man. <laughs> like the cartoon series. Yeah, that was that was it. X Men. Yeah. That was fucking awesome. That was. I love yeah, that so, cartoon. Yeah. I've so got that. I've got the the night. I've got the original cartoon box. That is now. that is high on my list to get. Like yeah, that, I've got that, it. That, yeah, because they were good, man. Yeah, so that, that's what they're doing at the moment. It's a follow-on to that. But the problem is they've they've changed things about the characters. Like apparently Wolverine's gay. Um Morph Morph was a character that could be male or female. So what they've done is they've made him non-binary. Why you need to do that, I don't know. <laughs> Why have you got to make him non-binary? Just make it so that he can be male or female. Yeah. Why does everything have to be one of you know? Just I just see Harvey Lodge just put Rogue has lost her ass. Yes, no, he's right. He's right. So, do you remember Rogue had a huge set of knockers and a huge ass? Yeah. They, they've basically just her ass has disappeared and her knockers are smaller. <laughs> they, they, it's, it's classic Disney, isn't it? It's de desexualized yeah. all, all females. Yeah, that's what they've done. He's he's not wrong. He's absolutely right. That is exactly what they've done. Um, so we've got Avengers. Now this one, there's four of these. 
Uh, time runs out. So this is volume four. So I, I Guys, I'm going to disappear. Four. Come oh, on, Lee. I'm going to disappear, oh, buddy, because the main event's on next. So uh, Wardley versus... Okay, um, oh, I Jeff need Clark, to watch so. that. When's that starting? <laughs> it should, uh, this, it's the next event, so it should be starting in about five, ten minutes, I should think. All oh, right, okay. Anyway, good chatting, fellas. Have fun. See you later. See you later. So yeah, that was volume four, and then I picked up volume two. Now the thing is, I need to get volume one and volume three, but they're the dearest ones, which is typical. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then this was the last thing that Kyra got me. This. This is old. Oh, I think I had that back in the day. Yeah, it's an annual. Uh, well, I, I don't know if it was this... necessarily that one, but I had one like it. I think it was like 86 or 87 this come out. Yeah, I might have had that one then. Right. It's, it's in really good condition as well. Yeah, look. Remember when Nan used to get me the Beano? Do you remember the Beano and the Dandy? Yeah. yeah. And you, every year they used to get me get me that for Christmas. Like. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Nice, isn't it? That's good, yeah. Very cool. So it's in really good condition. But the funny thing is, right? No, normally they put a year. There's no year on it. it just says annual. Thundercats annual. That's it. Odd that. They it every year, can't they? But yeah, I think that yeah. was, it was either 86 or 87, I think, that one. But yeah, really nice. Good condition. Good condition. So yeah, it's one of those things that I've never really gone down the avenue of of buying comics or uh annuals or anything like because i'm scared do you know what i mean I, i'd end up I'd, 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 I'd yeah. get the bug and i'll be like right here we go <laughs> well i i can tell you you will get that bug because i mean i used to do all it like read all of these yeah. and then you know and for a while i come out of it although even when i come out of it i was still buying them for my kids yeah, and oh, then yeah. now as an adult i'm back into them again so you will get that problem without a doubt but yeah, yeah. We, you got the where we I used to watch the X Men cartoon, and then I think Spider Man there was a Spider Man one and a Batman one as well animated series back then. Yeah, I, I think they were on every night sort of thing on Sky One or something or something back in the day. I loved it, you know, and I want to try and pick them up if I can. The, well, the animated I've series. heard. I've heard that they're redoing the Batman animated series, which has me worried. So I, I need to hurry up and buy the original. Because some of these companies, when they redo saying they, they stop doing the old one. Has me worried right. that. So I, I need to buy the original. Like Scott, you've got it on Blu-ray, haven't you? The original. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they, they can't beat Batman the animated series. That was really good. Chitara and Rogue, best things about kids' cartoons. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah Taylor as well. Like, not that, not that fucking half shaved haircut thing that's in Revelations. Not that one. Do, do you what? know what? No, have you watched have you watched the new He Man? No, I haven't. I haven't got around to it. I'll be Watch honest. It. Honestly, it will completely change your opinion of what shit show they done with the last one because they've uh, made they've brought teela back to how she should be he's made a complete 360 on it i, I don't think it will change my thoughts on the first series because i well, think no, it won't but you yeah agree, you will like what they've how they've finished it it's, it's only because of the backlash he got that's why he's changed oh, it. yeah <laughs> you know yeah they change so much nowadays to not offend people but like the small minority, they they're trying to not offend. They they're offending more the other way of the original. Do you know what I mean? It's and that is why they're losing money because these yeah, people you know, they're, they're, these people. I, lose... think, I think why they've got to do some of it because some of it you just is very PC and you, and you just can't say some of it. Do you know what I mean? But then when they they go about like certain aspects of our world nowadays. It's like fucking hell, just just no, it's too far. You've gone too far with it. Do you know what I mean? The problem is, is that they do these shows and they're trying to appease to these blue haired nutcases, but they're not the people who are buying these products. And and this no. is why they're all this is why they're losing money because of that. Because they're you know they're they're pandering to people who don't buy their products. This is why they're all losing money at the moment. It's a yeah. shame, really, isn't it? You know, 
because it must you imagine fucking having to write for something like that nowadays it's just like well there, there are people that are actually starting to fight back now there is that we're yeah. seeing a change it is it is happening things are starting to change people are starting to push back now mm. there, there are writers yeah, and that that are coming out saying i'm fed up with doing this shit like you know there are people saying it so you know like I get why, you know, like when we were talking about 40 Towers earlier, and there's definitely bits and pieces in that that just isn't acceptable in today's society. I get that. Mm. But you don't need to take it out. What you need to do is you need to put a warning on yeah. the episode before it airs. There is a cultural difference when this first aired to what we are dealing with now. Yeah. And if yeah. you don't want to watch it, don't fucking watch it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's... You know, it's, it's, you get easily offended, you know, whatever. It's like but, what uh, I said. When, when I lived in Australia, you know like how we got BBC Radio 1 and the music? It's very, it doesn't, there's no swearing or nothing on Radio 1, is there? And basically, uh, their version of Radio 1, they swear, they say whatever they want. And their argument is, if you don't want to listen to it, don't listen. Oh, really? You know, you just, yeah, just turn it off. You know what I mean? It's, no one's forcing you to watch anything, are they? Yeah. That's the world we live in now. Well, the, the, the thing is, I mean, I, I mean, I did a video talking about physical media recently, and that was one of the things I said on there. Like, I, I see it as art. You shouldn't be messing with that. Like, you, you wouldn't go and change the Mona Lisa to appease a, a modern audience looking at it, would you? So why are they doing that with films, you know? Mm. Do you know uh, what happened? Do you know what they're I'm a sign sorry? of their time. That's the thing. Same as a painting. They're a sign of their time. They're a, a window into the past. You shouldn't be altering that. You should be leaving it alone. It's art. At the end of the day, it's art. Do you know what happens though? I'll watch something sometimes and I'm like, you watch it and they might have altered it or something. And I'm like, I'm sure that was different. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm going, am I going mad or is it just me? Do you know what I mean? Like, am I the no, one they that's... are. They are <laughs> altering. Am I losing my marbles or something? You know what I mean? Like, because I don't think, oh, I'm not sure if it was different or not. You know, you start getting confused. And I, well, know. I know I watched um, Eraser not so long back and they cut the end of the film off in Eraser. You know, the uh, the part after the court case where his mates pretend to be the chauffeur, drives them onto the train tracks and then he gets out and you see Arnold Schwarzenegger like arm the bomb on the car and lock the doors. And then obviously the train hits in, it goes bang, right? They cut that entire bit out. All you see, all you hear is a bang. You don't see it. And then Arnold walking away with the woman that he saved. And it's like, what, why did they, you do that? They had to blow up the train up. You, all you see is the car get parked on the tracks. And then it cuts to the doors being locked. And then it goes from that to Arnold Schwarzenegger walking away with the woman as there's a bang. You don't see well, it. Why, why would they cut that out? Uh, do you know what I mean? It was... Maybe it's because it's, I don't know, promoting terrorism or something stupid. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? But, they, yeah, they chopped yeah. it out of the film. I couldn't believe it. I was like, why have you done that? Like, I know, yeah. you know back in the day they used to chop movies to fit them into the, what do you call it, the the schedule, didn't they? They yeah. You know what I mean? But that's, that's doing it for one reason. But if they're doing it nowadays just to make it, so people don't get offended. That's different, isn't it? So this year, what Martin's saying, on Tango and Cash, they they altered a bit where I think he, he says, I loved you in Conan the Barbarian. And then he pulls his head into the bar and splits his nose. I think they cut that bit out. And then the other bit he was telling me was where they get electrocuted in the basement of the prison. They've yeah, cut that yeah. bit out as well. You don't yeah. see him get electrocuted. And the fight scene's shorter as well. Very frustrating, but, isn't it? But I'm happy to say I've got that on Blu-ray, so I don't have that issue. That's the full uncut version. Can we talk about how good of a job Disney is doing? Chef, I've got one word for you. No, two words, actually. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, yeah. I'm going to have to go. Yeah, okay, mate. All right. That's been yeah. a good stream. I've really enjoyed it. Cheers, mate. Cheers. All right. See you later. Yeah, talk to Thank you later. You. See you later, boys. Yeah, I think I might wrap this up in a bit. Yeah, yeah, no worries, fella.
fight scene before has been cut down yet yeah, that's right it has uh it sucks i love that movie yeah yeah same get it on blu-ray get that box set i've got martin is that's fine that one in fact i think you bought that didn't you i think you bought that oh no he hasn't right okay yeah the set i've got i've already watched it it's perfectly fine there's nothing cut on it i think it was i think you get what's the film is it cliffhanger I don't know because I bought two different sets and I'm trying to remember which one it is. I think it might be on with Cliffhanger and maybe First Blood, maybe. I must admit, you know what I mean? Like with some movies, I just can't remember them. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, I've got a terrible memory. And like, when we were talking about movies sometimes, I'm like, I need to go watch it again because I can't remember it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> which is a good thing, really. Do you know what I mean? Because then I go enjoy it again. I know it's a good movie. Yeah. We're getting too old, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Martin, yeah, he did, he did get the box out. I thought he did because I remember saying to him, like, he's fine on this one, and then he went and bought it. Yeah, he's on a Man, special. I, to, I remember, like, years ago, like, you know, when, before I got into video game collecting, I used to have, probably had about 800 videotapes at one point. Do you know what I mean? I used to buy them all the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think I gave them to my brother when DVDs came out. Uh, I think I gave all my DVDs away in the end as well when it all went digital. I wish I kept my DVDs now, though. Do you know what I mean? Um, I, I started to do that. When I started buying them on Amazon Prime, to start with, I did get rid of a few of my DVDs. Like, uh, yeah. for example, I had physical of Roadhouse, right? And I'm regretting it now because I bought Roadhouse on Amazon, got rid of my DVD, and now I'm like, oh, I want that film again. It's not out on Blu-ray in this country. So now I've got to buy the DVD, and it, the price has gone up on it because, of course, yeah. it's the only course, way you can get it. It's going to be expensive now. Well, you yeah, because I mean? if you didn't get it, you'd see it, and it wouldn't be expensive. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's because it's the only way you can own it physically. So, of course, the DVD's gone up in price. Yeah. This is this is what, um, like, when I did my video the other day, you know, what Jamie – I was vr in Jamie's channel, and what Jamie said in his video was how it's become a – becoming a collector's market and he's not wrong it is because it is it's now becoming a niche you know like arrow video for example they're not cheap and and most of what they do is stuff that's not released here yet and yeah. in most cases they're better versions better cuts and sound quality picture quality everything's normally better on them as well so again you know collector's market you know yeah i mean i don't think i'll ever go back to the days of where i had like 500 dvds or whatever like that again it's just not going to happen do you know what i mean but i will pick up things mm -hmm. that like like the cartoons like the like the british comedy and things like that just i i mean if i'm out here playing a game maybe or something I, i'm a bit of a bugger i like having a few things going in on the background like you just put a dvd on in the background as well while you might be playing a mega drive and just chill out do you know what i mean and it's have fun. you have you ever watched Two and a Half Men? Is that again? Two and a Half Men. Have you ever watched that? I watched a little bit of it. I watched more of the Big Bang Theory and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I like them as well. Um, but like, I, my I missus found... liked How I Met Your Mother. Do you remember that one? Yeah, I she, didn't like I, that. We always had that on in the back. I wanted it. It was a bit too Americanized for my liking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the only reason I asked you is because the other day I was putting, um, I was backing up some of my DVDs, as you know, and Two and a Half Men was one of them, and I found myself sitting there watching a few, and I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot how good the early ones were. Because, mm. obviously, I don't know if you remember, they phased out um, Charlie Sheen, didn't they? And, and then yeah, somebody he else coming in, and then it was crap. It wasn't the same. He went off the rails, didn't he? Like, completely nuts, like, halfway through it or something. And then they got back right. at the end, didn't they? No, that, I don't know what happened in the end, but I know that it just went downhill oh, fast. And he so, was getting a lot of money. He was getting a lot of money for doing that, wasn't he? At one point, well, it was a good series. I mean, like I, the one I was watching yesterday was season two, and I was like, yeah, yeah. I was watching, and I was like, fuck, this is funny. These were good. Is it like, like one you know? of them series where they're only like forty minute episodes or half an hour episodes or whatever? I think it's like twenty five yeah. minutes, yeah, something like that. Yeah, they're quite yeah, short. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind them so much actually when they're short episodes because they're they're a good one to put on when you go to bed or something. You just chill out, and if you fall asleep, oh, it don't really matter too much. Well, it's, it's funny you say about Big Bang because I've actually been buying them 
Was uh, yeah. I used to watch I them on. I've seen you... the last season of the Big Bang. So I bought season seven a few weeks back. Got season eight, and then these here are one, two, six. So you got three of them in there and three of them in here. So, so I've got yeah. the first eight seasons. But you know they're so cheap to get now. They're so cheap to get, yeah. right. and they're such be much better quality. And I don't know if you notice if you ever watch them on E4, they cut them on E4. No, I don't watch them on E4. I can't remember where we watched them. So I, I was watching an episode the other day, and there's a bit where Penny mentions marijuana, and they cut half the line out because of the fact that she mentions marijuana. You know oh, why? Yeah. You know, oh. stupid, stupid. But there you go. Yeah, she um we we I'm sure it was probably probably about five years ago that we probably binge watched it. Do you know what I mean? I do I must admit I do like watching TV series, but I do like it when there's a lot of them that you can just go through them all. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like start yeah. finish. I I'm watching that um one that's just come out now, free something, free something uh sci fi one. Free body out. problem, yeah. Yeah, it's only one season so far. I'm quite enjoying it. I'm thinking it's going to get to a point now where I'm going to be pissed off that I'm going to have to wait for another season or whatever. I, yeah. I haven't, I haven't watched it, but someone I know has, and they said to me like that. What they said to me was, they said it was boring. It is a bit, it is a bit of a slow burner in places, but it, it's, I, it's really confusing because I keep hearing different things from different people. Like oh, some people are saying, "Oh, it's awful. really good," and then others yeah. are like, "Oh, it's boring." Like you know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. You have to pay a bit of attention to it because it's a bit like one of them going. If you if you're not a hundred percent kind of watching it, you can quite easily get lost with it if you know what I mean. Um, but no, I'm I've been trying trying to watch it at night. But uh, what happens is I, I get in bed and start watching it or whatever, and then literally one minute I'll be wide awake, next bang gone. I'm asleep, and then I end up having to turn it off and rewind it the next day. Well, the, the uh, problem the problem you got is um so a friend of mine that watched it he said to me this is this was his words he said have you watched it yet and I went no he went don't you'll hate it and I went why is that he went he said because you're one of these people that pays attention to the even the smallest details I was like well yeah because I like films like you know that's what I do he went yeah then you'll hate it and I was like why is that he said because it doesn't make any sense and I was like what do you mean. He went, if you actually look at it for what it is, there's huge plot holes that make no sense. Oh, yeah, it's it's far-fetched in places, but a lot of these things are nowadays, you know what I mean? No, it wasn't that. He said that there's bits that happen in it that contradict and it's it's idiotic in places. That was his wording, idiotic. So, like, I think it, I'm only about two or three episodes in at the minute, so I haven't really watched all of it, do you know what I mean? So, But the first couple of episodes have been all right, do you know what I mean? It's something to watch at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Um, so with the the problem I've got is is it's difficult to talk about without spoiling anything. And obviously, like you say, you haven't watched it all. But he, he explained to me that two things appear above the planet, and they can do a certain thing. But then at times they don't do a certain thing, and that's why it's stupid. Like that's basically yeah. I can't really I can't really say any more than that because it's like. Because yeah, well, I'll give it away, but where, like the planets move in, and there's like three suns or something. So sometimes it can be pulled in, and it can be like sporadic, and then other times it can go around it, kind of thing, and it messes with the days or something. You know what I mean? But yeah, it is a proper head fuck. You got you got to pay attention. Do you know what I mean? Because if you don't, and I'm a bugger for that, because I I put the TV on or something, and I might go on my phone or whatever, and literally I've had to rewind it a couple of times because I've gone. I haven't got a clue what's going on now. Right. <laughs> uh, have you, like I say, I don't know what episode it happens in, but have you got to the bit where you found out yet what's causing all of this? No, I don't think so. Right, okay. Well, then you, yeah, well, then it's a good job I didn't say anything then because I would have sported it for you. Right. There, there's, there's something that you haven't seen yet then, but when you see it, and then a few episodes later, it's like they forgot all about that, you'll then begin... Hang on, that don't make any sense. And and that was what I had explained to me. So I was like, yeah, that does sound a bit stupid if that's what they've done. Yeah. But yeah. Um, 
I know like what you said your mate said about like when you you very keep an eye on things. Do you know what I do? I can't help it. Like whenever I watch something that's period, you know, like when they film today, my I'm always looking in the back. I'm looking for a satellite dish on a on a wall, or uh, I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one there? Watch Gladiator. <laughs> There's a guy in the Coliseum in a pair of jeans and, and a t shirt in that. Yeah, Starbucks coffee in the corner or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but there is actually like a guy in jeans and a t shirt in the Coliseum. He was one yeah. of the camera crew. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know. I just, I, can't, I don't know why. I just, I, I just can't help it. You know what I mean? My brain goes straight to it. I'm trying to find something that doesn't belong there. <laughs> Same as uh, one of the Lord of the Rings. You see a car on the road in the background in one of them. Do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and I've, got a, I've got a short I'm working on that will be going up soon. Um, oh, how do I explain it without giving it away? You, all I'm going to say is it's Star Wars and you'll have to have a look because the, the, there's something in it that people probably have not noticed is in it. And that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. And I, I'm going to do a short on it. Only what I'm going to do is I'm going to like point out what it is, where it is, so that people can see it. Yeah, I mean, some, it's interesting. Some, some uh, people point out like they go, well, that came, like, say you're watching something from the 1930s. They go, well, that came out in 1935. It didn't come out in 1930. I'm like, yeah. Well, no one would no really bloody know that, pal. But like, if there's a 1990 satellite dish on the side of a wall, uh, you know what I mean? And, and you definitely 100% know that don't belong there. And that's a bugger, you know, buggered up there. Or like a car, or you know, what I, mean? I, I just can't help it. <laughs> I always it's look it's like, uh, like I remember when I was talking to people at school when I was a kid, and I was explaining about the bit where the stormtrooper bangs his head on the Death Star, you know, when he walks underneath the door, right? Yeah. Now, now obviously, in later editions, he actually put a knocking noise in because because people had pointed it out. So now people are aware because they hear the bang, and so you. You pay attention to it, but before no one noticed it. But yeah. you got there's lots of other things in the original trilogy, though. Know? Like, for example, um in the asteroid field, a couple of the people doing the special effects, they were chucking all sorts in. There's a potato in there. One of them, one of them chucked a scot like a kid, his kid's shoe in there. Yeah. And all they did, all they did was just paint them brown so that you didn't notice what they were. So and then um the bit where um, C-3PO's all in bits and he's going down a conveyor belt in a bet on Bespin, where Lando is, if you look at his head, you can actually see the camera crew reflected in the in his head. Really? Yeah, no, you can no. see them all there with the, the, the boom guy and all that. Like, yeah, you can see them. Uh, apparently, yeah. according to George Lucas, it was a nightmare working with that armour because it reflected everything. Everything, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. It must be especially like because they are like, places on deserts and things and like that where the, the sun is very shiny you know what i mean yeah. as well yeah it's probably like, why into the um original star wars set you know like luke's house in, is in tunisia tunisia yeah uh, yeah yeah i've been there like when, well, i didn't know it was there when we went on holiday to tunisia but we like went to the hotel like and there's this big leaf there do you want to go to luke's Wars? i was like yeah yeah i want to go to luke's <laughs> so, yeah yeah, yeah, we went not? out there. Yeah, you know. but yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, they they went back there as well, didn't they, for the prequels and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like when me and my wife, then she was then my girlfriend. We'd only been together about a year, and we were still quite young. Uh, it was like our first proper holiday. Uh, it was and it was just like the times when you used to go to the uh, what are they called, not estate agent, uh, holiday holiday, you know, travel agent. Mm. And you used to get like a brochure, and you'd have a little, little lot of video games, wouldn't it? Back in the day, you get a little screenshot. Oh yeah, yeah. It must be three best pictures of Tunisia. That I've <laughs> yeah. When we landed, uh, there's like a dead dog on the side of the road. There's people picking up coal off the road, and I'm, me and my wife, because we were so young, we, you know, we, it's like too wet behind the ears. And I'm like, oh my god, where have we come? <laughs> 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 Uh, you know what I mean? I think it, I think it made us probably because uh, you know you just have to get on and get on with it, don't you? And uh, yeah, yeah. And actually, where we stayed later on, it was where that terrorist attacks was. You know what I mean? That, uh, over there, like yes, that's, the that is the thing. Yeah, um, you wouldn't so be yeah, going there nowadays. 
probably, I probably would still go back because it's probably unlikely that would ever happen again, but it makes you think, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, check this out. This is saying I got recently for like next to nothing. PS1. Lovely. Yeah, ten, ten pounds. Yeah. Is that the original one or is that uh the Mark II like well, if you look on the back, has it got the hookups? Yeah, it's just the, the nah, that's, that's, that's the normal one. Do you know what the difference yeah. is with do you know why they changed it? Uh because I don't know. I don't know if why they changed up, it, but I know uh, the reason. Because it had all the other ones on the other one, it? on the right-hand side, isn't it? So on the original, very the, on the one they released, release date, the laser is on the left-hand side. And that's what made them overheat or something. And they used to remember, people used to turn them upside down to get them to work. And that's what, yeah, the, 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 they were too so, close to the power supply. I, I have a story about the first one. So when I first got my PlayStation, I bought it second hand. I actually bought it off my friend who was selling it because he wanted to get the Xbox that was coming out. Right? So he sold it to me. And I remember he brought it around on the day I bought it and it wasn't working. And then he realized, and it was the one with the hookups. Then he realized that it was still under guarantee. So he took it back. And basically for the price of a second hand one, I got a brand new PlayStation. And he That's got nice. his... And he got his Xbox, so everyone was happy. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the one he had was that one you're on about that had a problem. I need that thing since they had better hookups on the back, didn't they? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, they, they took all that away when they revised it, kind of thing. Yeah, he, his one didn't just overeat, it just literally just stopped working, right? So, yeah, yeah. must be saying about the model. Um, I'm just going to go through these Blu rays I got quick and then I think we'll call it a night. But yeah, okay, yeah, cool. So I picked up Fast and Furious 9. Not a great film, but I've got all the others. So, you know, oh, I've seen that one. That's I've just, seen the, the last that's, two. That's the stupid one, I think, where they go to space, isn't it? Number nine. Oh, I definitely haven't seen it then. And then we got this one, which is equally as bad Hobbs and Shaw. Which has got basically yeah, the man in it, which is also ridiculous. But again, like I say, I've got all the others, so I got that. But the one of the franchises of all time, you know, Fast and the Furious, the amount of money it's made. Oh yeah, yeah. People like seeing people do dumb shit in cars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so th these are the ones I've been on a major kick, as you know, James Bond kick. So we got yeah. for your eyes only. A lot of these I bought brand new, and they've only been like three quid. It's been silly money, really. Ridiculous, really, isn't it? Moonraker. Cool. You'll notice there's a lot of Roger Moore in there. Spy Who Loved Me. And that's because, if I'm honest, Roger Moore was who I grew up watching. Yeah. Live and Let Die. I did say, a re I think I upset Scott when I said this. I actually thought this was the more boring one out of Roger Moore's films, but... Yeah, I think I hit a nerve with Scott because I think Scott really likes that film. But I also liked Pierce Brosnan. So, Golden Eye. Golden Eye was cool, man. I like Golden yeah. Eye. Don't ask me why. Tomorrow Never Dies seems to be more expensive. I still need to get that. Um, the world is not is enough. That one, is that the one where like he's all about the media and all that? Or is that the world's not enough? The media? You know, like the news. He's trying to fucking start World War Three. Die another day. Uh, the world is not enough. Is the one where you got Elliot the guy Carver, I think the character's name in it, in it. The world is not enough. Is the one that's got Robert Carlyle in it. Is, is it Robert Carlyle? Uh, no, no, it's not that one. This one, I think it's got Terry Atcher in it, or whatever her name is. Is the one I'm on about. You know. Yeah, uh, I think. It's, I think. It's, it's like it's one with a submarine. I think, and they've got like a bloody torpedo thing with teeth on it, and he goes through the boat. And he's trying to start World War Three between. Yeah, I think you so, might be right. Yeah, he's just... doing it to, to film it, to, so he can put it on his worldwide news broadcasting thing. I think you're right because the Bond go obviously in, in Die Another Day is uh, Halle Berry. So yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. It is that one. Yeah. So that's the only Pierce Brosnan one I haven't got. Most of them are to replace the DVDs I've got. There's only a couple. Yeah. I'm not having all the Bond movies like in some great big box. I had them on videotape. That's right. They were on videotape, like they're a big thing like this long. And then I had a lot of silver box one with, with had really thin DVDs. Yeah. Probably, I don't know. Probably, probably didn't have the last six or seven movies in it or something. You know what I mean? 
and that, that's the problem. Out. That's the problem with buying them boxes is they're always releasing more of them, isn't it? That's the problem. I, I remember having it on videotape, right? The box set, and it was like the first how however many it was probably about eighteen back then or whatever or whatever movies, and it and it had this lovely picture all along the spines, right? They brought the next one out. It didn't fucking match. Yeah, it's exactly. I was exactly. like, what the, you know, I've got this lovely box set and then I've got this crappy tape on the end. Do you know what I mean? It was good example is here, right? So if you look at that one, right? If you look at that, and then you look yeah. and then you look at this, it's the same sort of font, same sort of set, right? Yeah. And Moonraker's the same, right? And then you get to for your eyes only. Don't look yeah. anything like the others. <laughs> no. So, mate, why have you done that? Like, you know, I know what you mean. Companies producing it or whatever, and don't give a monkeys. Because I remember the, the videotape actually, it was like a double inlay. You could take, you could have a picture, or you could switch the inlay around, and it would have like the number of the movie, like Doctor No Number One. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so on. And like the next movie came out, when I went to go get it, and I was like, well, that's crap because it don't match. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I remember being really disappointed. Um, yeah, you want them to look the same, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. I do get what you're yeah. saying there because I'm the same. Like I say, when that come through with a different font, I was like, what the fuck? Why did they change it on that one? Like, why? <laughs> because yeah. the funny thing is, if you look at the Pierce Brosnan ones, they went back to a similar font to the earlier ones. But look, the Pierce Brosnan, Brosnan ones, look, same font again. Yeah. So why is it that when they got when they got to for your eyes only, they were like, yeah, what? We'll do it different. But why? That's just, it's just to piss you off, isn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. It's, the, it's like, right, we know that it's going to be a guy like Lee who's going to be pissed off in the future about this. Like, you know, like, I know what you mean, right? Because I've got uh, SNES games, right, where, like, like take F-Zero. I don't see it. But you see how it's got, like, Super Nintendo, and then it's got the name of the game. Mm-hmm. Like that, right? Now, where is it? Oh, fuck me. I can't, I won't be able to find it. Yeah, super on it. You get like this, super on it. And it's got like the publisher's name at the top. And I'm like, why? Why have you done that? Yeah. I want I want it to look like that. Yeah, the same old way. I want it to look like that, not like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, stupid, isn't it? Yeah. They, just, they did similar things with the Mega Drive games as well, though. You know, I used to mess around with him as well, like change things on him. Like, I, I never liked the fact that um, EA had to have different bloody cartridges. That always pissed me off. Yeah, I mean, you've got like the blue spines, you've got the original black ones, haven't you? You've got the EA Sport ones. I think the first original EA Sports games, I can't remember which ones they were, but I think they were in a car cartridge like the, the original ones. And then they they because I think EA then decided to make their own cartridges and not go yeah. through whoever was making the so I think if you actually go like for the full EA set, like the first couple of games that came out are in a different case. Yeah, but see that that's the thing that always bugged me with that though, right? Because say you had a damaged case, you couldn't just buy a generic mega drive case, you had to make right. sure it was one of their ones. You know, I was you couldn't fit yeah. cartridge in it. I, I always pissed some me off. Mine are, mine, are pretty, some mine are pretty ropey, but just I'm not. I'm not a mint car. Oh, hello. You froze up seven or eight. Oh, was it? Yeah, you froze up a bit then. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, if I'm not a mint collector, as long as it's not seven, you know, seven, yeah. eight. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm happy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because you just pay too much. Otherwise, you know, if you get into the mint territory, you, you're. I, I wouldn't say I want them. Um, I wouldn't say I want a mint, but I do like them to be in a pretty good condition. Sometimes I will yeah, pay a bit yeah, more. Yeah, I want to have a manual, and yeah, you know, I, I never read them, but you know, it's just like you need it. You know, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, that's, that's the silly things we do as collectors. Um, but I've been on a bit of a Mega Drive kick lately. I must have picked up. Oh no. 10, 11 Mega Drive games recently. Yeah, I won. Man. I won some on them raffles, didn't I? Um, so, but you know, uh, they came with some of the ones that I wanted. So, yeah, Mega Drives the console yeah. for me. I'd say when it comes to old school stuff, Mega Drives the one that I like to buy for. I think it's oh, probably. 
it's probably because I know that they'll outlast everything else. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I think I quite like Mega Drive for that reason because of the cases as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would say that I'm probably, I probably am more of a Nintendo guy at heart. Yeah, you know, like Snes and Nes. But it's just like about a Mega Drive game, how it looks on the shelf. You know, it's yeah. just and, and let's let's face it, it's, it's not a million miles away from what I like anyway. Do you know what I mean? It's you know, like if you if you go by like levels, it's like SNES is here and like Mega Drive's here. There's nothing in it. Do you know what I mean? It's it's that era that we grew up with that we love. Yeah, you know what that's I mean. True. That's true. But yeah, I, I got I got I probably not buy anything for a little while because the wife will start chewing me ear off. What you do? Why <laughs> have you got? Why is there so many more games on the shelf? You know what I mean? She's not stupid. She comes out here sometimes. Goes oh. You know what I mean? There's, I see a few new games up there. <laughs> like, oh, are you are you sneaking them in though without a nice scene? Then are you? You got to pay a little bit of that. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, you got to spin the yarn, ain't you? You know what I mean? So like, oh, I need this one bad, or you know, and it only costs half what I paid for it. Love, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. And now uh, she's pretty cool when it comes to the the collection because if I spend money out here. She knows if, like, we ever needed money or we ever needed to sell it, I'd either get most of it back or virtually, you know, somewhere in the book. Or in some some cases, more. Do you know what I mean? So, well, I mean, the thing with the thing I used to say to the missus, especially with my collectibles, I always, you know, I've always said to her, they're, they're an investment for the kids because, without, you know, I'm not just buying it because of that. I buy it because I like this stuff, right? But yeah. I know that it's something that the kids will be able to sell on when I'm gone. And yeah. they'll make some money out of it, you know, because let's be honest, right? I mean, if you leave your kids money, the government's straight in there after that, aren't they? You know? Yeah. Whereas, whereas if they're getting, like, physical items they can sell, well, then they can't touch that quite so easy, can they? You know? So, yeah. I mean, my kids do come out here um, and they predominantly play, like, the Wii U, they play a bit. They play a little bit of Mega Drive. Um, what else do they play? A bit of Xbox. You know what I mean. But now you can't really see it. But I've got. Let's see if I can move it. We've got. I've got that TV there and that t another TV there. So a more modern TV in the corner there. Like. Yeah. And we normally sit together. Do you know what I mean? I'll be playing the Mega Drive or the Snares or the Nes on the on the Sony Trinitron thing, and they'll be playing the Wii U or whatever. But what normally happens is when I'm trying to play my Mega Drive or whatever, Jake, bless him, he's only five, he'd be like, Dad, how do I do this bit? And then he end up giving me the pad and I end up like playing the... <laughs> you know what I mean? I weren't interested in playing at the time. Yeah. Because I need to play him and then you get, you get, oh, it isn't bad, actually. I'll play this for a bit with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it yeah, all work well, really. But, Mind you, make the most of it, mate, because they'll get to a point where they're 15, like my youngest, where they don't want to even sit in the same room as you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, like I was saying earlier in the groups, you know, make the most of them when they're running around chasing bubbles and stuff, because when they get older, you're going to miss it, and you will do. <laughs> I can say yeah, that for yeah. sure. So I must admit, like, I, w I wish they'd play more retro with me, but I won't force it, you know what I mean? Because if they're not interested... Do you know what I mean? You, you, you can tell that they, they, they like all the modern stuff. Um, and it's like sometimes it's a hard sell. I'd be like, they're die. I mean, some games from back they're brutally hard. Yeah, they yeah, are. They're, yeah. they're, they're holding your hand. You know what I mean? It's like, no, you just got to keep playing it. And they're like, no, nah, bugger that. Because they've got no concentration, have they? That's you right. Know, I, I put um, micro machines on not so long back for both my boys to play. And they were like, Dad, this is bloody hard. Like, yeah, they, they couldn't get the hang of it, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you again if you like micro machines, I've got like uh, this oh, on the Dreamcast, it's not identical to it, but it's it's a good game, man. Oh, rough, that's rough what rough. I need to get. I've got that in my watch list. Yeah, yeah. On the, it's like a rally on. game, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I love this game. I can't remember what I paid for it, probably about 20 quid or something like that. But it's yeah. it's a really good little indie game on the Dreamcast. I've got it in my watch list on eBay. Yeah, it's one I yeah, need to yeah. get. It's definitely worth picking up, man. It does, and the, and the, the, the skill level, it starts off all right. Do you know what I mean at the beginning? 
And he ramps up, yeah? Yeah, he starts ramping right up. Do you know what I mean? As the tracks go on kind of things, which I like. You know what I mean? You want a bit of a challenge. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. Where a lot of these new games, there isn't much of a challenge in them. They're just really long, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, like... They, like, because they play a lot of the Fortnites and things like that, I tried to get them to play Switch games as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, like, my middle boy, Mark, he played Zelda, like the latest Zelda come out. He plays Prince of Persia to come out. We played um, the Mario versus Donkey Kong came together. My oldest, he's 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 too addicted now. He's he's too gone. Do you know what I mean? I've lost him. I've lost him to all the <laughs> yeah. To, because I don't think it's just necessarily mm -hmm. games. I think it's the social side of things as well with a headset. They're talking to their schoolmates. You know, they're all on it. You can all hear them shouting away. Yeah, yeah. Same with my uh, boy. Whereas when me and you were kids, you know, I was around my nan playing Zelda on the floor with a pot yeah. noodle, mate. And I was like picking shit. I loved it. Do you know and, I mean? if you, and if you was talking to your mate, he was sitting next to you on the sofa playing. Yeah, exactly <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, them days are well and truly gone now. Yeah. I think I think the switch has kind of brought it back a bit. I mean, I remember when we had to meet up at Scott's. Um, he put on, uh, oh, what was it? That Vendetta game. Um, on oh, a Vendetta. Yeah, the, the fighting game. I've, I've got, I've yeah, got I've it. Got I can't... Yeah. So I remember him and Martin were sitting there playing couch co-op on it. So, you know, to a certain degree, you, you still got it a little bit on the Switch. I think the Switch has helped bring that back slightly. Yeah, the Switch but, has got yeah. a great indie scene. There's yeah. some absolutely fantastic games on there that, I mean, I've picked, I haven't got a massive amount of, uh, like, the indie scene of it. But, like, if it's got, like, elements of that, then definitely I'm I'm all in kind of thing. But yeah. uh, most of my boys have got the Switch, so... It's not. It's normally like first party kind of games that you know the Mario's, you know the Zelda's, Metroids, you know that kind of games. But yeah, I can't. I can't fault the Switch. Yeah, I still got my original one actually from launch. What your Switch? Uh, yeah, yeah, still got my original Switch. Um, I remember because because I had a Wii U, back in eight, and I was waiting for Breath of the Wild to come out. I was like, and it, and it keep getting put back on the wii u and then i can't remember what it was called the switch there was a code name for it so like something like and i can't remember now i can't remember the name but anyway it was and then then it got changed to the switch kind of thing oh this is coming out and as soon as they said that switch was coming out and that zero breath of the wild was coming out on it i pre-ordered it i was like bugger this i'm going for the next model do you know what i mean yeah you know because you know i'm a big zelda fanboy at heart um yeah yeah, my all my family have got like, all my boys have got the switch. I mean, even the missus has got it, even though she don't bloody play it. She's got so, like the life. The funny thing about this the switch, right, was I remember someone I worked with got one, right? First one I'd seen, he brought it into work and I said to him, I went, mate, that's not gonna catch on. I was like, that looks like it'll fall fall apart. Because he was taking all the remotes off of it and yeah. sliding them on. And, and I went in where I went, that's gonna break within a few months. You watch that won't catch on. Man, how much was I on that? <laughs> my my one where you put the things on the site, it kind of feels a bit. But I play mine mostly docked. Do you know what yeah, I mean? So, same, same. And I, I, uh, I don't uh, think I think I was right with what I said about the controllers because obviously they get drift and all that. So I don't think I was wrong on that. But at the same time, I did say, "Oh, that won't catch on," and it did. It did catch on in a big way. So I was kind of half right, like because I was basing yeah. it all on the controllers. Yeah. You know? It what uh, helped it as well a bit though, like the pro controller on the switch, the, the switch like the one when you docked it kind of thing. The yeah. first one that came out on that was so good. It's such a great controller. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I'd actually put that up there as one of my you know, like my favourite controllers to play with. Do you know what I mean? It's brilliant. It's never uh, again had it from launch, pretty much. I've never had any drift with it, and I've back, I've absolutely came that thing. I've used it like non stop. And it's still going good now. Do you know what I mean? What, what I did was I bought a load of third party controllers so that four of us can, is it three? Three or four of us can play without using the original sticks. That's how I got around it. I must admit, the original sticks, the black ones that came with it, they're, they're, they need repairing. The drift, there's definitely drift on them. And I don't yeah. use them. I just, 
I went to sport another couple, you know what I mean? And I think one of them's got a little bit of drift on it as well. But yeah, it's, I, it's quite well known that they do get drift. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I basically just bought four. Actually, I think it was three. I need to get a full fund so that we can all play. But yeah, they're all yeah. third party controllers, so we don't have to use them sticks because, like you, he basically that's what calls it. It's just using them, isn't it? Over time, they just go. You can get like these wired ones. I mean, I, I, if I'm sitting like, say, I'm here like this sort of thing when I'm playing because I play a lot of dogs. Most of the time, I sit quite close anyway. You get a wired one that uh, go to the switch or whatever, and it's only about fifteen quid. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So not the end of the world, like price wise. Yeah. But the the original one. Oh, boy, I think I paid £60 pound for it. And at the time, that's a lot of money, £60 pound for a Pro Controller. But my God, has that had some use. So, yeah, I, I do like the look of the Pro Controllers. I would like to get one because, like I say, I need to get one more, really. So I might buy a Pro. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. I think I'm going to wrap this up because I yeah, know no my dramas, missus... Huh? huh? No dramas. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all good, mate. It's been good chatting. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, it's just I know my missus just come in. I haven't really seen her today, so it'd be nice to see her <laughs> before she crashes out because I know what she's like. She, the minute yeah, she stops mom, moving, she falls asleep. <laughs> my missus is always on the Kindle. Do you know what I mean? She's got a Kindle reading books. Yeah, she don't care. She'd rather read a book than speak to me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. All right, guys, take care. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Got to find me out right now. Where is it? Here it is. Right. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.